Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is G. Cole, and welcome to Homegrown, where I get to share with you some good music while talking to some great people. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do, so we can keep you updated when new material is available. We will be posting new episodes bi-weekly. Also, check out the website Homegrown with G. Cole to listen and for all things Homegrown. We're also very, very interactive. Please follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook at my G. We got, we, we, in this business of music and this business of reggae music, there's people who do it, and there's some people who do it right. You know what I mean? And one of the gentlemen who's been doing it right, um, and, and, and we can attest to that because of the fact that you can't ever find him in the same spot for more than a day or two because his services are being required in the other spot. And we're talking about musician, producer, singer, hmm. chef. Joma, mm. you know what I mean? Did you just say chef? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bunch of stuff, so we, we got we to got throw it in. You know what I mean? We got to throw it in. What, what else you do? It seems like there's, you know what I mean? Like drums, keys, yeah. trombones, triangles, tambourine, the whole nine. Well, I don't do too much of the saxophone thing. I leave, <laughs> I leave the blow in the Dean Fraser. Rah! Pick up yourself, Dean. Pick up yourself, pick up yourself, pick up yourself. Pick yes, up yourself. Sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome. All right, Mr. Ed Robinson, welcome to the program, sir. Give thanks, brethren. Great, great being here, man. Great Pleasure's mine. <laughs> Pleasure's mine. Pleasure's yes, mine. Pleasure's yes, mine. Sir. I know social media and, and, and them thing here, and the cameras and the Ray Ray, I don't really yeah. your thing. Nah, I you're don't. All, you're not too dig it. Nah, I really, I probably start doing video thing probably like seven years ago. Yeah. That's the first time I ever really start up in front of that camera and do a video. Right, right, right. Never really dig it. It's too much, it's too much hype. You yeah. Know? It's too much hype. I kind of prefer let the work speak for you. You know what I mean? Right. I, you know what I mean? But these days, you can't go around it. You gotta, it's, it's you, part you, of the, pro- it yeah, like it's, it's more important than the music. It's back. more important. Not coming like, it's way <laughs> more important. <laughs> than, Achoo, Achoo. Than the music. If people don't see the video of the song, come like, the song don't really mean nothing no more. True that, true yeah, that. Yeah, you know true that, that though. <laughs> and, and I watch interviews, the few mm. interviews that you do, mm. and a word stood out to me. I'm asking you to explain it for me, because mm-hmm. I like it and I want to add it to my repertoire. Yeah, respect. PR yeah. whore. Right, oh. I heard. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yo, no, I thought you said word. <laughs> no. I, heard, I heard you say, I, I, I don't want to be a PR whore. I'm like, yeah, I no, love that word. No, no, What's no, a PR no. whore, Ed Robinson? A PR whore in my head is basically a person who just like, if him, if him go out of the bathroom, <laughs> go, go do one of them public thing there. You know what I mean? It's a stream. It's a stream. <laughs> you know, if him. <laughs> If him there on him in private life with him girly and if him go on vacation, put it this way. I personally know a virgin. I mean, I don't even want to laugh for him publicly, but I know a virgin who put it out. Mm-hmm. Say him, him there on vacation, there on a cruise ship with him family, with the wife, and when him come back, him not have no house. Damn. You know, because all furniture gone, everything that him was gone. Advertise that he was home. Advertise that he was home. You know what I'm saying? So some, sometimes if you're not an artist, Sometimes you can't keep, you can't keep certain things, right? You can't keep that little yeah. thing. The world private. don't need to know. Nah, the world don't even know. Say when them when you come back now, mm-hmm. then you can say, all right, yeah, I was in. Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? But but in real time, in real time, no, you have to be careful. That's and I'm so. big man, because I thought the kids did that. The, uh, but nah. yeah, yeah, some, yeah. Some grown man use it for some ungrown <laughs> things. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. You heard from his Ed Robinson, grown folks, you need to do grown things, all right? You don't know that, bro. No, let me ask you this. Lots of artists are, and this is my observation. Yeah. Lots of artists are at home mm-hmm. in a studio. Mm-hmm. That's where their comfort zone is, right? Yes. And then they'll try to bring, bring it to life on stage, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, I get the impression, however, with an artist like yourself, that mm-hmm. you're, you're as proficient as you are in the studio as you are on stage, right? Talk to me about the contrast, because it seems like you love the studio, but it come like you come alive mm-hmm. on stage. Talk to me about the contrast. It's two different worlds. Mm-hmm. It's two different worlds, and it's two different worlds that I really, really, really get to love. Mm-hmm. Um, I was, or still is, or back in the days, I was never a studio person. Mm-hmm. Um. My thing was live, live, live. Because that's where all my career really start. I start playing for a bunch. Of, put it this way. I play for everybody and them granny. Wow. 
live wow. on stage. Yeah. You know, it my repertoire, my reputation is more like who I've never played for. Wow. I could name you the few people that I've never played for live. Right, right. If I start naming you the people that I play for live, it, it would that take at least fifteen hours to tell you wow. all of them names that I've played for professionally mm -hmm. live, mm -hmm. you know, on stage. Right. So my thing was because you remember that I started with a professionally earning money as a drummer. Right. You know, so my live stage show, if I if I cannot, if I don't remember a song, mm -hmm. if I don't remember the tempo, I don't remember the name of the song, I will find a way to make everybody in the crowd know that me never miss a beat. Right, right, right. You, you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So we, we, I'm, the, I'm from that world. Mm -hmm. You know, so stage show live, you probably, if you, only if you was at the rehearsal and we rehearse something, you would know that I messed up on stage. Right. You know I what I mean? You, I so you. I learn how to distract a crowd from long. I get fired from band for distracting crowd. Wow. You know, because when that's what you're supposed to be doing. Thank now. you. So the other musician them would never really understand that. Mm -hmm. So I understand what, what them just got through. Right. But it was kinda sad for me that I get fired from a band that I really love. Right, right. Because I mean I yes, we messed up. They messed up. So but I distract. The people because people don't know when you messed up on and, stage. And, and they don't know until you make them aware of it. Exactly. So yeah, yeah, because yeah. once you pass, once you play something and you mess up the bridge, you cannot go down the middle of the bridge and correct it. So leave it alone. It gone. It gone. So yeah. right after you mess up, you distract. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Enough time. I think I that's the fire. difference with a with, with, with a professional yeah. and the other brother. I, I don't know if it's really a professional thing. It's something that I learn and, mm. and come up with. How to, how to, you know, that, like really distract. So I, I didn't know it was a professional thing at the time. Right, right. You know what I mean? Because right. it's way afterward I see real professional. Do you mean I talk about big, 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 big people? Mm -hmm. I see them, you know, with the other show and they're like, whoa, okay. Right, 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 you know? right, right. So you say, I'm doing something right. Exactly. I got you. Yeah, yeah I man. got you. I got you. Yeah. It, it, it amazes me though because, again, what people don't realize is this: even the mess up is part of the show. Until your point, it out. is part of the show. Until you know? when you go back in a band in a in a changing room and start fight over it. Exactly. You know, because we always go say like, "Yo, bridging." You know, no, see, I see you if you play this yeah. or you're supposed to double the tempo this or you're supposed to roll this or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Yeah. So, so you know, you know, you go my bridging. In in immature is one thing, mature Not is another thing. Yeah. Being a professional is one thing, and being a like it, like I said, you know, being a, 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 a not so professional is another thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So sometimes them worlds like collide. I got you. In a even young musician yeah. and even older musician. Yeah. You know. Just people being people. Exactly. Because you have to remember that, you know, you're not band with five people. You're dealing with five different characters, you know, because some man smoke weed, some man do whatever them do, some man drink liquor. I deal with you know. Can you remember so that is two character traits where you can't read? Cause when him that rehearsal, him never high. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And when him go to when him go yeah. on the stage, him drunk. <laughs> so you, you deal with a drunk guy. Yeah. That's on stage. Yeah. As opposed to a sober guy that was at, re at rehearsal. Something yeah. is gonna go awry. It's gonna go left. But when it go awry, mm -hmm. that's not that's not a public problem. They don't even know that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Nobody paid to come in, come here, you complain about the mic not working right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if the mic not working right, find a way of it knock out the engineer. Right, 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 right. You, you know what I mean? But the show must and go make on. A part, make that be a part of the show. You walk over <laughs> the engineer and slap him in the head with him, make it a part of the show. And you, the crowd <laughs> go, yo! Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I dig it. It's entertainment at its fullest, my bridging. That's, yeah. that, that's what people pay to come in come see. They never pay for you for coming come cost them out. I tell them, them yeah, if you stop yeah. living them life that way. Yeah. Listen, we have Marcus Gavi and Bob Marley and all them on the past already. Mm. And them, yeah, them, them drop and bleed for the cars. Right. You know? You don't need to. Right, right, right. Somebody did it. Somebody did it already. No matter where you go, Jesus dead for us. Right, right. You know what I mean? So you don't need for broke for your neck and go dead for no right. more cars. They are defeat the purpose of him dead. Exactly. You could have killed him for a long time, <laughs> no matter do it. Nobody do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you get paid to entertain, Bridget. You didn't get paid to convert people to your right. religion. Right. You know, unless okay. unless you have something else where we don't know about. Right, right. You know, but make we know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you mentioned something about which is so true is, is mm -hmm. like the different personalities of people oh, yeah. based on you have to live your with substance, inebriation, whatever the case may be. You, know, you got to rehearse with Lenny and then Lenny will show up right. at, at, at the gig. Exactly. You know what I mean? But you got to deal yeah, with them. Exactly. Because him good to go home and that try to get him girl to come out of the show. Yeah. And then his wife show up without without permission. You know what I'm saying? All of that. Too. So guess what happened now? Him did that try to figure out mm. where I'm going to tell both of them or one of them say. Mm. So guess why? 
you know, something that's up. It won't mess up. It won't mess up. So you you have to understand that and work with him. That is so true. Yeah, you, well, you know what I mean? So you learn to distract even from the other musician yeah. them. You know what I mean? And we, you will get through the night with fun, man. Then and don't get, mess up in, the guitar. can duck through the box stage <laughs> later, man. <laughs> later on before wife you are sweet heart see him. <laughs> That's up there enough, you know. <laughs> it up enough. All oh, right. Oh, you mean? That's a fun thing, man. That's a fun thing, you know what I mean? What you going to do? Lose the fun? Then you can't play the bass line. Let me stop it, yeah, man. You see it. Yeah, yeah. Tell for the bass, you know. <laughs> I mean, let's stop it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was Mr. Ed Robbins. I met this a tune after tunes after tunes after yeah, tunes. And I gotta give my taste a little something, something. Whoa, whoa, baby. Brother, brother. We have to touch a little piece of this one. Dancing, um, I'm not dancing time, so I'm juggling. Mm. Juggling rhythm. You're juggling. Asking me if I still love you, Big up Patricia. In my eyes. Sure that I do Pick up JTMC for you hmm. still pure and true Management already made sound familiar Song is called "Baby, I Will Be There." Make sure you go ahead and get that one. All right. No, this this is uh, you know, you have the hits, you got the classics, you got them joints that the masses and crew come out to to hear at the shows. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we got the newer the newer stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the newer works. This is one of the newer works. Then. But still, yeah, yeah. Give thanks. Give but thanks. but Give thanks. Give thanks. now, when you go in the studio right now, it's 2019. All right. So you're mm-hmm. going to the studio for approach, making some new projects, some new tunes, new mm-hmm. rhythms, and something there. Is the, the level of excitement still the same as when it a knock out like all a knock it on heaven's door and everything there? No, it's basically it's be, it's a different vibe. It's a, and it's a different time. I mean these days, cause put it this way, I don't write songs. Mm-hmm. I never I never really go in a studio with a with a with a set idea. Mm-hmm. You know, I walk into the studio and somebody have a rhythm. Or even when them send a the rhythm come give me, mm-hmm. I probably come up with an idea for the song, but I write in the studio. Okay, so you're you know, creating organic I don't, I don't, right there. Right, I don't write mm. on paper. You know what I mean? I don't do the paper thing and right. you know, I'm painting, no. Right, right, right. I can't do it, you know, because I, I, will, I will map out something sometimes, but mm-hmm. I, by the time I reach the studio, I totally forget the melody. Oh, okay, I, I got you, head. I got you, I got you. You know, so I just go into the thing because I have a, I have a method that I work with. Mm-hmm. I will go into the studio and just hear a rhythm, but my, the most important thing to me is the melody. Mm-hmm. So I will come up with a with a melody, and I record that the melody, just the melody. Yeah, mm. you know, da 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 pa di pa da pa da pa da da pa 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 pa. And then I engineer bring that file for me again. I'm gonna listen to it and then I put words to that melody. So the words are the last part of the. Uh, the the words is the last part of a song for you, me. You know what I mean? So you. I, but I, the hook is the first thing that I come up with. Mm-hmm. So if I come up with a hook, both you, pretty orange shirt. Yeah, we all call that salmon, salmon, <laughs> salmon, salmon. All right, cool. I eat salmon. <laughs> I don't wear them. <laughs> Pure Alaska yeah. salmon. Pure Alaska. <laughs> the, it wild or it farm grows. <laughs> wild, wild, wild. Yeah, you know I mean? But you know, if I if I come up with an idea about your shirt, mm-hmm. you know, I make sure she have a hook about your shirt. Right, right. Then everything else falls in place because you want you people will know what they want to sing or you want to start it out. Right. Or what you want to hook at, give it a second verse. And if you feel like give it a third verse or a breakdown, mm-hmm. you give it there. But your hook is gonna be the same. I always yeah. tell, and I'm glad you mentioned that because we mm-hmm. have a lot of artists that watch the show and people do create differently. Mm-hmm. But I always feel like mm-hmm. one of the better ways, if not the best way to, mm-hmm. to create, mm-hmm. is creating around a hook. Yeah. You know what I mean? For, for me, I don't know about anybody. Some people can write songs from the beginning to the end. Yeah. You know, that's great. Nothing is wrong with that. Right, but that's you know, their process. That's your process. Right, right. But I'm explaining to my process, you know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. how I work. I get the hook first and then boom. I love it. Yeah, man. I love it. <laughs> Now you smash some. You mm-hmm. see the thing I always tell people when it comes to doing a, a, a cover, and, and I hate using the word cover. Mm-hmm. I'll normally say mm-hmm. an interpretation. 
Right, because a lot of times your interpretation is totally right. different. You are spin on something on a classic. Exactly. And if you knock it properly, mm-hmm. then we're talking about another classic. Exactly. Now, mm-hmm. some of them classics that you knock out, was it was it your idea to go knock them out or producer said, yo, man, nice vibe via it? It 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 depends. Um at first it was my idea. Mm-hmm. Because I hear some songs and I swear to you I meet them write them song before. Right, right, right. There's a song from Luther Vandross called um, Dance with My Father again. Mm-hmm. I listen most most artists come out of Jamaica. Some artists that I love, care for, you know, respect. And everybody just like a them mother raise every man of Jamaica. Yeah. Nobody open their mouth and sing about a father. Big up daddy. Sometimes so people don't understand that sometimes daddy run and you don't run from me and mother get on them nerve, you know. You understand me? So <laughs> so the truth is, I know all the while a father leave you as a youth. You know what I mean? Is is the father fall? So you can't really find daddy and, and, and knock him over his head feet because yep. daddy does run to be seen or to keep him sanity. Yep, yep, yep. You know what I mean? Yep. So I was uh, my father raised me. Mm-hmm. I'm mean, not talk about really raised me. At some at one point in my life, I thought my father was was planning to find ways of killing me because <laughs> 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 I mean, you, you know I never big up pop. You know, or, you know, life go. Every every young you would challenge him father. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. I don't know if you ever watch a Lion King. Yeah. But every youth and him father is of that vibe. There. Head bumping. All in a stepfather. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because yeah. sometimes some stepfather does some better job than the real father. Pops, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I challenged my father and I've never heard anybody out of Jamaica sing, you know, my father song. Yeah. Everybody's mama, 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 mama. You know what I mean? Nothing is wrong with the car. Enough man experience for them mama thing. But I experienced my father thing. But when I listened to Luther Vandra's song, I just knew the brother there write that song for me. Whoever write the song, write that song for me. The only line of that song that never relate to me and I couldn't relate to to it. I'm saying, up the stairs he would carry me. We never born and growing up his house. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I'm saying? That's the only line where I almost change the line. But I'm saying, you know, for the integrity of the song, I wouldn't change it. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting it slide. (laughs) Right. (laughs) You know what I mean? But the truth is, Sometimes when you hear some songs and them really, really relate to you. Mm-hmm. Cold Ground was my bed last night from Bob Marley. Yeah. You know, bridging, I, would have, I probably would have changed that line to Cold Ground was my bed for six months. Right. You right, know what I mean? Because right, right. we, we have to run away from foolishness where we are doing go a bush, go hide out for save life. And that was six months we spent a bush. Right. I hide from whoever. I got you. You know what I mean? I got you. So some of them things they relate to me. You know what right. I mean? They personally relate to me. So when we, when we get era song, I'ma decide for remake it. You know, I I I remake that song like I really made it happen to. Right. You know, knocking on heaven's door. If you, people don't understand, if you go back to the original trace of that song, yeah. You know, you will see what that song is about. Yeah. I saw that yeah. song for the first. I didn't even hear the song. It was not a record. Mm-hmm. It was some, something that Bob Dylan do for a movie soundtrack. Mm-hmm. And if you go back and watch that movie, it's an old movie from back in the days. You know, we watch a whoopa cowboy yeah, movie classics. in Jamaica. Yep. <laughs> you know yep, I mean? yep, yep. Yeah, and so people can understand why, why most Jamaican artists name themselves after a cowboy character. <laughs> <laughs> they got that type of joy that way. <laughs> exactly, because that was our influence. Yeah, yeah, true. You know, that was I our true. straight up influence, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah, sir. man. <laughs> You know, it's it's funny. Like I said, no matter where in the world you go, yeah. I encounter Jamaicans. That the tapestry is almost it, it taps into the same thing. You know, same thing, same thing. You know, you same grew up. I'm, I'm from Ochi. Mm-hmm. You, you Moby, you Kingston. But if you check the fiber of it, yes, sir, it's a Jamaican thing. It's a yard thing. It's a street yard thing, bridge. I mean, everywhere in the world I go, if I don't book up a Jamaican, I wonder if it, that place it really exists. True. Maybe, sure. You know what I mean? Because or I, a Jamaican restaurant. Uh, th- thank you. Yeah, you know, I so mean, it tastes like our thing. There's a Jamaican restaurant in Dubai. Wow. I don't even think the people in Dubai know that there's a country exists near Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> so our, restaurant. our influence is sickly crazy over the world. There's yeah, in Alaska. I was in Alaska for three days mm-hmm. doing a concert, getting there the first day, do the concert the second day, I was getting ready to come out the third day. Mm-hmm. And by the time we ended the night of the show, a brother with a sweet tea, this brother looked like him, was born and raised there. Mm-hmm. All blonde hair. The man said to me, say, yo, rude boy, you want some? <laughs> well, we have the best Alaska up here, you know? <laughs> and ready for the ass flip. <laughs> I mean, the Alaska. Like, yeah, I look at him like, yeah. where you come from, King? 
<laughs> yard man, or you yard mean? man. Uh, all right. But, but him look Alaska though. Him man, man just look like him is a Eskimo <laughs> man. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> We yeah. are everywhere. We are everywhere, Bridget. You know, so it's one of them culture, the Bridget. Yeah. Jamaican culture is one of the greatest, most unique culture in the world. True that, true that. You I know, want to preserve it and take and care of it. Right it's kind of sad when, when we see, put it this way, I, I have done concerts where I'm the only Jamaican reggae person on it. And there was about 15 reggae groups on, or individual on it. But and I'm the Jamaican. only one that's authentically born and raised a punish tongue. Wow. Come from Jamaica. Wow. On that show. Nah, it's crazy. It's crazy. You know? It's crazy. It, and, it, and you know what, though? And, and I'll say this because I've heard and I've had the conversations regarding stuff like that before. Mm-hmm. And um, as we see even the youngsters, right, about not doing their thing, mm-hmm. getting a certain level of shine, bringing it back. Mm-hmm. The conversation is like, okay, so who's responsible for all this right now? Some people say the generation before, mm-hmm. you know, they lacked a certain level of professionalism. Mm-hmm. As a result, a lot of people didn't want to work with them. So now the generation mm-hmm. thereafter is fighting that battle. So they're trying to get mm-hmm. back in there. But in that in- interim... Listen, mm-hmm. every generation blame the one that come after them yep. for the mishap. Mm-hmm. What we don't seem to realize is mm-hmm. the one that's before us miss it up. Right. It's not <laughs> right. the one that come afterward. The one right. that's coming afterward is fighting that battle. Yeah. Because sometimes they don't even realize what we did. Right, right, Until right. somebody said, listen, you know the reason why I not deal with no more no Jamaican people? Mm-hmm. is because of blah, 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 blah. Right, and right. sometimes when you listen to what the man must say, you experience it to where you take it for granted. Yeah. You never yeah. really pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. You probably can get five foreign acts to play reasonably. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Before you can get two, you know, reggae acts, genuine Jamaican acts. Yeah, yeah. To, to do your thing. And sometimes them all miss the show and call you and say, um, don't worry yourself, but I'm give you back a next show for free mm. when I drop this song. You know what I mean? <laughs> because it was happening right. even in the generation before me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? So it's not, on a, on a today, not it's not new. Yeah. It's not new, Bridget. You see that, the situation where you see artists are fight each other now, mm-hmm. even publicly them come. With the clash thing there and them look foolish, you say. It's a go on from long time. Yeah. Where you think songs like you're acting like a blackhead Chinese man come from from back in the day? Where you think them songs yeah, come from? Yeah. A man just get up and write them truly. I'm bridging them across. Mm-hmm. But the difference is these artists before us never come public. Right, right, right. They never have no social media, no TV station, because mm-hmm. JBC and RJ never that interview nobody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Me? I chew, I chew. So these guys never have a Platform at them never a bully pul- bully pulpit mm-hmm. for come and cuss each other publicly. So them going to studio got to do it. So them going to studio got to do it. Right, right, right. And that's that's why sound system was so and is still so important to Jamaican music. Mm-hmm. And the competition, the clash thing, that's where it's coming from. Right. It a come from, you know. Yes, competition it become. Right. But it a come from people a fight people. I got you. So it's, it's, it's a, it's a new. thing. It's a new. It's just nobody wants to put the onus on them. Th- thank you. So It's a new, my brother. It's so unorganized that nobody can claim the, even the... Who invent reggae? Who come up with the word reggae? <laughs> Still word for it, it, thank you. <laughs> you know, there's so much people that, that claim it. Who, yeah. who invent that thing? You know what right. I'm saying? So that's how unorganized it was. So it's not them little you Them yeah. little you So don't blame the you. Them, them you that come and swim in a pool that was already... Corrupted, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't blame them. Right, right, right. You know, you probably them that generation are probably have to be, blame us. Yeah, yeah. And we have to look back and blame the ones before us. You know, but like I said before, every generation mm-hmm. blame the one after them instead of the one instead of, <laughs> before. All uh, right. Yeah, yeah. So, so good, man. ladies and gentlemen, I saw the thing going again. We're having a reason. We're talk everything, you know. But guess what? When we sit down, it, I, I find that mm-hmm. a lot of times people get microphones put in front of them, and I wrong mm-hmm. people they put in. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you, you need to read the ingredients, and if you read, I go on first before you put the microphone. So whenever we get yeah. somebody to sit down and have a conversation with who can give us some insight, yeah. it's always a pleasure for me to do so. Check this one out, brand spanking new, one of my favorites too. It's called Suddenly. Whoa, <laughs> big show. Classics. And if you're gonna touch the classics, you gotta do them like this, right? Instant. <laughs> I would have pulled a voice that come from on the front end. <laughs> I used to think that love was just a fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> or 
Until that first hello Until that first smile It's called Suddenly, ladies and gentlemen But if I had to do it all again Latest offering from Mr. Ed Robinson I wouldn't change a thing Cause this love is everlasting Suddenly Life has no meaning to me There's beauty up above And things we never take notice of You wake up and suddenly See a lot of hearts and stuff going up I gotta take it from the top, ladies and gentlemen It's a big tune, but I tell no lie Him nine months later, child support, baby. <laughs> Sing it, baby. I used to think that love was just a fairy tale until that first hello, until that first smile. But if I had to do it all again. EK, I'm glad you're loving this one. Jamaica Jim, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's the John T. Wargoin. Suddenly, life has no meaning to me. There's beauty up above and things we never take notice of. Welcome, Annette. Thank you so much. And suddenly, you're in love. Toronto's in the building. UK's locked in. Yo, you have some tunes, and I have some tunes. And when I'm getting knocked, them, 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 them get knocked so proper that sometimes you don't even remember say, the original bad too. I'm not tell no lie. Mm-hmm. This tune right or so is crazy, 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 crazy. Talk to me, how, how did this one even come to be? I have made a life and a living doing these records back in the days, you know, as a, as a singer and mm-hmm. drummer. I used mm-hmm. to play drum and sing them songs here for tourists. Mm-hmm. Fast forward probably 30 years later, um, a little lady called me out of the blue and said, yo, I have a project with a song that I'd love you to cover. Mm-hmm. And it just happened to be this movie star sitting over here beside me. Mad. That our movie is coming out. Um, is when, it? When is, our, when is the movie coming out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's talk, let's talk about the movie. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we should. <laughs> what a movie I thought through. The 23rd of April. I'm sorry, your microphone. Hold on, one more time. The 23rd of April. You said it. But hold on. Yeah. Say that again. The 23rd of April. Sound familiar. Yeah, sound very familiar. Ah, what do po- you say? The powder of ice. The, the powder of ice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the powdery smooth. Now it all comes together. <laughs> she does her thing, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Just man. Dope. Big artist, man. Dope. Dope. Big artist, man. So this was her. That was her idea. This is Miss Joan and Marie. That was, that's what was her idea for me to cover this song. You know, what I thought for a minute that she wanted me to cover it in reggae. Mm-hmm. So I went in the studio and I did a reggae version of it. Mm-hmm. You know, send it back to her and she's like, eh, eh. Mm. Not that, not, not that. It's, we want it to be acoustic. It sounds like she does that a lot. She be sending stuff back a lot. I like. She, she, she the person in the restaurant. I be keeping, yo, there's no cook, right? <laughs> 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 okay, I get she, it. It seems like she be doing that a lot. Okay, all right. I so think this is pick on me, then. <laughs> no, no, yeah, right. <laughs> well, it's proper. Yeah, man, um. Uh, well, uh, first of all, I was a big up to Richie Steve. I haven't seen a virgin for about big up do both a year now. So big up to Richie him there too for the show, you know. So. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna murder. Yeah, m- m- yo, monster, Flatten. monster, monster. They're probably gonna put one on security out there, but <laughs> 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 it got terrible. And we're gonna yeah. get into that because, ladies and gentlemen, you don't know yeah. Robinson's in town for the show, the Spring Jam. And yeah, um, by the way. Before I even get back to the song, I got these two tickets. Mm-hmm. All right, we got two tickets to give away. So right now, boom, the camera there. Yeah. 
sometimes I confuse which one. <laughs> which one? <Yeah. laughs> too I, much. <laughs> too much of them are going around the place. I got these two tickets to, to the Spring Jam celebration, which is tomorrow, mm-hmm. Saturday, April 13th. Again, mm-hmm. Richard Stevens, Ed Robinson, Papa Beto, Fiona, Ruffy, King Bantan, mm-hmm. back by the Sweet Vibes Band, Itago Load at the Garden, all right? Yeah, In Lauderdale Lakes. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Definitely bad man. Definitely. Definitely. And who's going to get the tickets when we play Knock? On heaven's door Hmm. All right Just You see the number on the screen You can call Normally we don't even take calls But just because of a special time We might open up the phone lines Yes sir Um, Or you can just put it in the In the the, um, Here In the the, What name The inbox inbox. Right Mm. The chat room The chat room (laughs) (laughs) My bad my bad. I was drinking water early. <laughs> so just put it in at the table. with. <laughs> Chase with some ice. <laughs> so are we, we going to get you those tickets? So suddenly, my mm-hmm. bad. So she sent back the tea. Send it back. Call me and say, um, the, the whole idea that she had for it was acoustic mm-hmm. guitar. Mm-hmm. So um, come up with something. Come up with the idea. Of how you cover it acoustically. Right. Did it. Send it back. Nah. <laughs> you know, cry. You know, go cry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, all right. So, what other tries me? I said, do me a favor. Get a musician, get mm-hmm. a guitar player. Send him in. The, you go in the studio with them, direct the whole thing. And then you send it, come give me, I'll cut the vocal and send it back to you. Mm. So, 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 don't cut it, send it back. Yes, that's it. That's what we want. That's what I look for. Wow. The, re- the rest is history. You hear the product. Bad. You know, Bad. so I have to give our props for this one. Uh, we know, got her. She'll find it. We got, and you know what, though? I'll tell you this. When, 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 yes, when somebody, yeah. sometimes it's good, then do that. Now send it back once, twice, thrice, whatever. Two. You know what I mean? Two. And Two. Um, the other thing I'll give you credit for is knowing, because mm. a lot of times you're in the studio with somebody who they have an idea what they want. But they don't know how to articulate that to you. That's true. And them know what they want here. Some somehow, that you know so what I mean. True. But them that's still so at the same time don't know. So it's it's good to have that person who yeah. has that um is a musician. And a lot of no, you know, sometimes I want to tell you something. Some of the best producers I've worked with are DJs. Really? Yes. I have no clue about music. Cause it, let me tell you something. Music is a music is the ability to bang an instrument, you know, properly. Right. Or to play a guitar properly. That's 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 what music is about. Mm-hmm. You can have some of the greatest ideas. Look at Timbaland. Timbaland don't play music. Right, right, right. You right. know what I'm saying? But them know it's in their head, you know. They so, know some of the greatest producers, my bridging. Some of the greatest yeah. producers in the world. Most musicians that I've met, real they're great musicians, but they can't produce. Right. You know, they cannot produce a record. They cannot produce a song. You know So I mean? they, they're not mutual exclusive. You don't have to necessarily... If you're a good musician, it doesn't That don't necessarily mean that you can produce. And vice versa. Exactly. I dig it. You know what I mean? But most of the great producers that I know and work with, mm-hmm. they're not musicians. DJs. They're, they're DJs. They're people who play music in a club at night. And Because guess what? Them have that vibe there. Once they put on a record, if people don't They know what people it, like. Exactly. People don't react to it, you know. So you don't have to be a musician to be a great producer, Virgin. All right, one of the greatest producers. Right. You know what I mean? So don't make it you break it down now because again a lot of people mm-hmm. need to hear them thing because again and, and you DJ? No, I no. don't. <laughs> JJ D. <laughs> now you're all I'm living for. Suddenly you, you ever hear our player? I've heard her. One of the greatest yeah. piano players I've heard. And I said that because she's over there. So, That's a word on the street, though. I've heard many other people. Yeah, I'm one of the greatest piano, piano players I've heard. I mean, but, I've known her since she probably was about what, 12 years old, I think. Yeah. yeah. I've known Two her. years now. About three years now. Yeah. Mm. 15 and now. Right, right. I'm, so. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but she's, she come from a, a musical background family because I used to play with, you know, like, um, I think, what, your cousin. Mm-hmm. I used to play keyboard. She used to play keyboard in the band that I used to be the drummer in. Mm. You know, a band called Native Auto Ultra. So that's when I, 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 met, I met her. Wow. You know, but I haven't seen her for maybe 30 something years now. So. Hey, now she's here producing oh, she, suddenly. Exactly. You know, so we have to give our props to that. That one. wasn't the first production with them, though. No, no, no. We, no, we, we did some reggae stuff before, you know what I mean? Uh, let, let, let's, 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 um, get, well, you know what? Zara, we got 
Oh, I think mm. we'll come off when we want to come off. You see, so yeah, so so we, we're gonna bring it to you. Big up on my Uchi people, that's home, you know what I mean? Uchi, boom, trust me, trust me, trust me. Marine Garden is all is home because <laughs> I used to live there. Marine Garden, yeah, man, Cooler, man. that's my stomping ground, yeah, man. I live in Marine Garden for years, man. As a matter of fact, I used to live up at Bosco Bell, too, really, yeah, man. school up in the air, Bosco Bell is a child's stone, yeah, that was my professional yeah. stomping ground. Still, I mean, it's music, like the cabaret circuit, right, right, right music, right. camera, all of that, you know, drums, camera, all of that. That's amazing thing. Yeah. Yeah. How did you actually get into being a musician? How did how, how did drums become your thing? Um, b- b- ridiculously by a bet. A bet. A bet. Why a- dudes always getting everything in their life because of a yeah, bet? Yeah, <laughs> my my my, br- my brother bet a dude that I can play drums better than the dude on stage, mm-hmm. and. I couldn't let my brother down. My bigger brother was my hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I couldn't let him down. So I, while I make the bet, me I watch the drum and swim. I do. Mm-hmm. And that's when me go up on the drum. And that's what, what I learned to do. So well, right prior instantly. to that, you weren't playing drums? Nope. Never played on music before. I mean, you know, we, we make our own little guitar yeah, and mess yeah. with it because I used to love it. I used mm-hmm. to love the music thing. But I never really played no professional instrument. Wow. You know what? When I get on, when I get on the drum thing, I realize I start playing that, right? Mm-hmm. But it never that go too well for me, so I just figure out a way to distract them, and that's where I get my, <laughs> <laughs> that's where I get my a the, the I art of distracting. <laughs> <laughs> that's right there and then. Right. That once I do that, the people them reel up like, <laughs> stop it, nice. <laughs> You know, I, I like that so I, just, so I just like That's it <laughs> You entertain people Once you get up there That's right. what people want to see Because nobody's listening to you live Right, right, right You know Because most of the time You can't hear what's going on on stage anyway Because yeah. a bunch of people playing So you, boy, you go Cypher through all of that night Yeah, yeah, yeah True You know True. what I'm saying People True. don't have the ears to go Ooh, the bass is off It's out of tune No Yeah Or the keyboard player play the wrong card They don't know the cards to suddenly yeah, yeah, yeah. Them know it's supposed to be a scene at a crowd. Exactly. Yeah. Them know how it's supposed to feel. Yeah, yeah. Right? And if you are perform that song, them know what they're supposed to say. They're supposed to say a guy or a girl up there performing the song to mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. So that's what you do. You you play to people's eyes when you're performing. Right. You play to people's ears when you're recording. I got you. I got you. I love the jewels you're dropping them because, yeah. like I tell you, many, many, many artists, producers, musicians watch mm-hmm. the program and they need to learn these things. As we <sighs> talk about the whole on stage person. Everybody have them thing, though. Everybody True. have them thing. Some man go up on stage and stuff. Remember, Miles Davis used to turn his back to the crowd and play. Yeah, you understand. Yeah. A lot of people don't know this. Yeah. You know, there's a little girl who come the other day with us with almost a similar principle, where she cover up herself and turn her back to the crowd and, and sing. I kill it. Uh, a little girl named Arza Riza, whatever the hell she name. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but eventually them kind of move her from that note to entertaining the crowd. Right. And she's right. a great entertainer. Right. But that was her gimmick. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So depends on. How you feel, Rasta man? You know what I mean. Yeah. You know, you don't want to come and take up the principle of Prince or the yeah. principle of Michael Jackson or even Bob Marley. Yeah. You know, you come with your thing. Is either people accept it or them they run left you? You know, them leave you, gotcha. let you be. You know what I mean? So, I gotcha. so you got my brother, man. No Spanish Town. Yeah, that's where you're from. Jesus, yes. <laughs> we have big Spanish Town because I've lately come like all of the dope talent that I come out of Jamaica right now is coming from Spanish Town. As always been, my Bridget. But a lot of places say, back to different. Yeah, no, no. As always been, some of the greatest entertainers come from Spanish Town. Ani Kamuzi, Granix, sure. you, you know, Can't all be. of you that come from Spanish Town, you yeah. know. But and Montego Bay, there's two towns that produce a lot of great artists, you know. OG people are like off right now in the middle of No, sometimes produce some Star Wars, some serious youth, you know. But Montego Bay and Spanish Town are, have always been producing great acts. One of the things that Montego Bay has always been a victim of, mm-hmm. Montego Bay artists, and I can tell you that from, from experience, because I my my professional career mm-hmm. as a singer start in Spanish town in, uh, in Montego, in Montego Bay because I thought you were from Montego Bay everybody think I'm from Montego Bay right. I rep Montego Bay right 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 you understand me but I'm from Spanish town mm-hmm. but Montego Bay is, is what raised me as a professional 
got you. You understand me? So I can't go nowhere and don't say, man, thing will be. Put it this way. I was one of the only artists out of Montego Bay that go on any stage mm-hmm. brightly, boldly, with no fear that says, Moby be one of them. Right, right, right. Not even the artist them from Montego Bay was doing it right. when I was doing it. Wow. You understand? Because I remember, you know, Montego Bay get a stigma years ago. Yeah. And nobody wanted to right. associate with that stigma. Yep, 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 yep. You understand me? So every yep. man, when well, them come from born and raised in Montego Bay, because if I tell you some of the artists them that it was born and raised in Montego Bay and they never open them mouth one day and say Moby. Yeah, yeah. You understand? True. Me, me and them have conversation about that, and it's like, boy, well, Bridge, you know it go. I don't no want to be no Mr. This Moby, you know. I mm-hmm. don't want a man to me and Mr. This Moby and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yo, Bridge, how you can be insecure, insecure about something that you're not? Right, right, right. Most times, you really <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What are you hiding? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something they bought you really exactly. Yeah. You're gonna duck something that you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I got um, stigmatized or get the reputation live on stage in front of the national arena, mm-hmm. right? That I was a cokehead. What? Yes. <laughs> a man, a MC called me on stage and tell me if you explain to these people, 35,000 people I'm looking at in a concert named, named Crucial Concert. Mm-hmm. Yes, that was me. Right, right, right. My first and biggest ever concert in my life. Mm-hmm. And that was the experience I had. A MC called me on stage and said, because they took me off of the show the day before that I was allegedly a cokehead. Right, I was right. a crackhead. right. Uh, whatever them call them something there, Jimmy. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you know, and them took me off of that show, and the MC said to me, said, don't even worry about it, you still come at the show, because me I got call you up on stage to come sing your tune. So I thought he was going to make me sing the song. Right, right, right. So but I, I'm ulterior motive. Exactly. So yeah. I went to the show, and when I went, instead of hearing him call me, him call me for come up on the stage, and said, yo, and he, he explained to the audience who I was. Mm-hmm. Come in the book for the show, picture and everything. Mm-hmm. It's called a Crucial Concert. If you Google it and go back to it, you will see it. I yeah. think it was only one or two episodes of it. Yeah. And then cut it out. Yeah. The, sh- the show was about, um, there was raising money to build a rehab mm. center in, in, in Kingston. Right, right. For host people who was on substance abuse and blah, blah, blah. Right. So if I was even a crackhead, no, no, the, 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 People like me, them should have punishment. Of course. You understand? Of course. Because let me explain this to you. The headliner was Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? And I mean, How ironic. And I mean, them take out. <laughs> you understand me? Wow. So put it this way, my version. Those are the experiences I carry through right. in this in this um reggae music thing. Right, right, right. And this live show performance thing. The MC that's still about? Yeah, man. Yeah? One of the biggest, biggest motivator of speeches in Jamaica. Wow. One of the biggest reggae icon in Jamaica. And right. him was the MC that night, and that's what he did to me. We I call him, we I call him, I love him. I mean, okay. All right, yeah, I'm going to call him. You, know. you understand me? But I mean, no, I'm not going to put him out there like... I'm fine, well, yeah, you have to Because do. guess what? I mean, now I realize that him never do it maliciously. Him do it for his own create hype. Exactly. Yeah. Him never at, do at it. Your expense. Him never do it for destroy me. Right. Him do it for hype up him thing. But if you weren't who you were inside exactly. within as a person, then exactly. he probably would have destroyed. If I never have that thing the inside, I probably would have walked away from the business like many dudes that I know. Yeah, yeah. And I was coming directly out of Montego Bay, walking on anybody's stage and saying, Moby. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you see, like all them little youth I know, I come and I say, Yo, I'm Moby, we say. Mm-hmm. All of them little youth where I do it, you know. Mm-hmm. The only thing with them little youth I know is like them, I run with that thing the way it don't last. Yeah, yeah. And that's my only issue with it. For them thing is, is, is a 90 attack. Mm, mm, you understand mm. me? So if, exactly. See if them you that can come with some substantial thing though. Don't worry about the hype. You will get the hype. Mm-hmm. It them thing you up me in a week or two for you, you know. But where you where you go plant the seed where you go sow, I'll give you fruits all 15, 16 years later. Yeah, longevity thing with work with. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, but the, the narrative has changed, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. You know, the narrative is changing right now in Jamaica. If you're you, far left. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah, notice yeah. what's going on right now, the narrative is changing. You them are realized now, say yeah. that little thing they now really nah, work for them for too long. You just get a two week hype and a nine day attack and boom. Gone. It's done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so them have to really lay down foundation so them can 
pour te déçuer. Il y a fait de manière de faire des professionnels qui ont fait des cats. Mais il y a fait un jungle lag dans ce soir. Il n'y a pas juste un cat. Il y a fait un jungle lag. Trust me. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we're having a nice convo right now, Mr. Eddie Robinson. I do like the fact that, again, mm. you know, because here's the thing we come across with people. Transparency and so forth is something that people run from. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, and I am a firm believer that people... You know, when you create an alter ego, mm -hmm. you know, I, I get the impression that there's only one, uh, there's only one Eddie Robinson. See him brother on stage, off stage, side of the stage, around the stage, kind of front of the stage, there's one Eddie Robinson. I can't help it. I can't help it. I mean, put it this way. I never, I don't come, I don't cut from that cloth where I am going to be one person by a son. I never really get the opportunity to start and move it. You look at my foreign. <laughs> You know, so the theater was never your thing. No, theater was my thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we can come up with the method acting thing, and you right, know what I mean. Right, so right. The, the same dude, the same like a problem person where you're fine, you know, because I've always have issues. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? I've always have issues, but I always never think them that serious. Right. You know, so that's why I always clown people. In front of you, behind you. I will clown you from now till tomorrow. Don't right. let me know nothing about you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know so true. I will clown you from today right back until next week. Yeah. So don't make me hear say them did catch you with your pants down tomorrow. But that's what we're still know. Exactly. Because <laughs> we're going to clown you in another day. And, and the worst we see I come up the yeah. street, every yeah, man drop on the drum laughing. You know. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. You know, so enough time people go like, oh, well, him that said this. Be no, my brother. If you're there, so we said this. That's, right. that's what we say. Exactly, because we clown you see yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's put it this way. It's fun to we. Of course. To see you go through some like a fool. Because we don't want you to take it serious, you know. Sometimes when you crash, because me go see if my brother in the motor crash car already. Them, them teeth are car and then crash with it. <laughs> And while we are safe, then we are laugh off of them and say, why you never make that one then drive? Because you can't drive. <laughs> yeah, thief, I can't drive. Exactly. There's rules of engagement, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. If you're going to be a burglar, practice before you go to practice the road. Practice before right? you go through a window, man. Or you get stuck in a burglar bar, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> you know, so what do you think we're going to do this at all? I saw the thing go. Some cloning have to go on. Exactly. So we'll see, we'll see in person. On stage, off stage, we're just the same person off stage. It's just a career bridge, and you know that's serious. Yeah, you know, it's not don't that take yourself. I, I love that. Talk. Don't take yourself too, too serious because it will laugh after your bridge. Yeah, you know what I mean. Don't yeah. take life too serious because life is a way of laughing at you. You know, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Me? Yeah, it's coming. Have fun, bridge, man. Car, look here. A bridge just said me a thing the other day. Say, you get up every man and you jog and you eat right. You don't eat meat. You still gonna die Right At some point in time <laughs> At some point in, in shape. time In shape <laughs> <laughs> You understand me Six pack and carry a little bit up Alright There's a song that Freddie McGregor did Years ago That have a major impact On me when it comes to them things Yeah Him do a song named You keeping fit for the fire mm. See, I think it was You jogging Or something like that Right 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 So you're keeping fit for the fire mm. So no matter how you fit you still are going to the same place. You still are on towards the fire. You yeah. still are going to the same place. You still are like real. You know what I mean? So look here. You get one chance at this guy. When it's over, nobody not give you a refill. Yeah. Ain't no do over. Not even God no give you a refill, boy, yeah. man. <laughs> no matter how your feet are not close. <laughs> exactly. No matter how you ain't got a virgin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So enjoy every moment of this rest, man. Right, right, you right. You know, so if you think that richness... But are you having money and everything there? Is part of your enjoyment? Yeah. Feel free, Bridget. Go make all the money that you can. You know what I mean? I enjoy it. Yeah. If you know, say, is music a your thing, buy all the equipment that you can. I enjoy it. Buy all the plug-in you can. You know what I'm saying? Live it up when you can. Thank you. Because yeah. at some point in time, sometimes all the finger them not go work by the mouse, you know. God right You know see Nowadays we have to get Our glasses <laughs> Look on them So <laughs> You know what I'm saying God I think they don't work With them it white not, screen uh, uh. So enjoy this My bridge Don't take yourself Too serious Don't take yourself Too serious man Don't take life Too serious either Cause life will laugh At you bridge Life will be a way of I hope everybody's listening God is a comedian just, 
I feel so too. Yeah, man, guys, I come humor from here to the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, come on, man. If God, yeah. if God was not comedian, no people like me and Gully back up. Come on, Richard. Come on, Richard. Bop. Come on, man. <laughs> enjoy it, Rasta, you man. You, you know, have to. You know that's serious. Ain't nothing like laughter. Laugh, enjoy yourself, have a good time. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Mr. Yeah, Ed man. Robinson. Again, we are well advised, but guess what? Mm. One of the baddest singers around. Make sure you go check the music out, all right? Maybe I didn't love you. I'm digging in the vault, right? Guns, yeah, I'm digging in the vault. <laughs> and maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. Pamela, what's up? If I made you feel second best. I'm so sorry I was blind. Now it's welcome to the party. I appreciate you. But you were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. Enough, girl. We get to high school. I'm tuning in. I'm not telling you no line. <laughs> big tune, big tune, big tune. Mr. Ed Robinson. Yes, Again, I touch the classics. You know, I touch the classics. I touch the hits. I touch yeah, everything. Mm. You know what I mean? Now, here's the thing. Yeah. I always say to people, um, it's like when you have players and they say, yo, that's a coach's coach or that's a player's player, whatever the case mm-hmm. may be, right? I, I, I feel like you are, you're a musician's musician. You're an artist's artist because every time I speak to the artists, mm-hmm. a lot of artists, the legends, they talk about you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, my people, I talked to Richie Stevens one time when I talked, just conversation on the yeah. interview. It's like, yeah, we're doing Ed Robinson Studio. And everybody keeps saying this and coming right back around or whatever. Where did... We, we talk about the musicianship part, how you got into that. Mm-hmm. How did you get into the business of music, being a professional musician? Um, or should I say, I'm sorry, not musician, but artist. Right. Just just by being left out of certain things. I mean, back in other days, if you notice, I never really sing on a bunch. You remember one time, I think it's still going now, but them call it juggling now. Mm-hmm. Once upon a time, you used to have one rhythm. And 1,015 artists. Right. You know, and everybody sit on that rhythm. And the the the, 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 the guy that get the most popular song, let me in the rhythm after after his song. Right. Or True. Sing. True. I have never one time get an opportunity to sing on any one of those rhythms. Mm. And it's not that I was not the studio. I even present at the studio. I used to go at the studio. But them never them kinda overlooked me. Right. In a sense. And I went to, I hear a bad, bad rhythm one time, and I went to King Toby's studio, specialist bridging the camera to King Stop, Toby's studio. Mm-hmm. And may I try, not that him camera go down there for put me up on the rhythm, no. But I walk with Toby, I said, Toby's going around the corner, I walk around there, I said to him, say, yo, me here, do a rhythm, you know, and it's bad, you know, um, I like sing on it, you know, and I said, why? Mm-hmm. He said, well, I got a rhythm bad, he said, nah, man, don't worry about that, man, go build your own. Wow. Tobbies, so, I tell you this. Tobbies, King Tobbies, the man yeah. that Jarvis him soul him gone. Mm. Him say, go go build your own man. Don't no, no, ask nobody for sing for nothing, man. Wow. Go, go build your own rhythm. Go as peer musician, go as studio and build your own and put out your tune. So I say, oh my god, do that. Him say, build it, build the song there, make the song, make the engineer mix the song and carry it, go a dynamic sounds and press it up on record and sell it yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm like, whoa. So the reason continue from that, I say, we don't know, we don't, we don't think we have them kind of money there for, for do all of them something there. He say, all right, here we do. Find a way. If you can, go pay all the music, save up your money and buy a machine. Buy a recording machine and record yourself. Mm. If it sound good, it's going to work. If it not sound good, it's going to work. Because one million people are going to like it if it sound good. Mm-hmm. One people, not one million are going to like it. Right, right, right. If it sound foolish, if it sound stupid, one million people are going to love it. Mm-hmm. And one million people are going to say, what can I hear that show that? But guess what? Mm-hmm. In a, any scenario, you get two million attention. Right, right, right. I dig that. I dig that. And I lived with that and I went to, I went back to Montego Bay mm-hmm. that same night and get involved in a things that could actually dissolve my life. Right, right. Just to get, come up with the money for buy the equipment that I want. And I call him back one day and say, where, you, where the machine where you have name? Mm-hmm. And he said, get a pen and write down this. And he give me the machine. Tascam, 
um, two, two, eight or whatever mm-hmm. on the liquor board. And that's how I start my student thing. Because nobody would have given me any attention. Right, or right. even put me upon it. Because you have to remember, after going through the whole drumming scene, I, I start come up with a rebel reputation. Right, right. Like nobody can work with me. Nobody can this. But they put it in that way. But it was not the reason I found out later on why. Right, 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 right. Most people never want to work with me because I was blacklisted for right. years on the hotel circuit. I couldn't get a job. I went, I, I probably lose about eight jobs in the space of three months. Wow. I will go at the hotel and work. And after three days, entertainment manager come and fire me. I remember every last one of them. Mm-hmm. You know, I got easy to put them on blast. But it's like, it's not, it's not that important because I've learned a very, very important lesson from that. Yeah. Go do it yourself. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. rely upon nobody. Exactly. No. So them them people they never realized that they were setting me up to succeed. Right, right. You them think they were setting me up to fail. Right, right, right. You know, because of right. one stupid mistake mm-hmm. that both people, myself and that bridging make. Mm-hmm. Seeing and we deal with it as opposed to deal with it gentlemanly. Right. We deal with it. Right. Gangster. Gangster wise, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It happens all and, the time. And guess what? He was the one who was blacklisting me. At mm-hmm. every hotel, so everywhere I went to work, I went to couples and worked there for three days and fire me. Right, right. And you know, in the hotel back in the days, when you join a when you join the musician union, if you get fired from a hotel, them have to pay you up. You have to work there for like six, seven months. Yeah. And then them have to pay you two weeks. Right. Pay and fire you. Right. Right. I worked there for three days and them give me the two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad gig. Them, <laughs> them, 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 I forget rid of me so yeah. bad. That me they even bother, them they even bother question. Look here, just pay him two weeks. Pay him. And I make, <laughs> him, go, I make him get out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, so I was being fired from every hotel that right. I work at. Sansos, you name the hotel them. As I get the liquor gig, them fire me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because of that stupid... <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I want the bread bus. That set me up. That set me up for, for succeed at what I do. Right. You know right, what I'm right. saying, and that's how I get into doing what I do. So here comes my studio in Montego Bay, and this is Montego Bay. I set it up. Mm-hmm. God, that, that was the only pe- place in in the world where nobody can come in a Montego Bay. Come touch me. Right. Right. Them right. can't affect me no more. Right. So Montego Bay was my refuge. That's where. That's what teach me to be a businessman. That's what teach me to be a man. That's what teach me to be a, you know, real grown up youth. Moby. Moby. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So love that place. Me don't care what happened down there right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because sometimes. Still, yeah. Still the place. Sometimes we, 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 we all keep our bedroom dirty, you know. So it's yeah. not a problem. The town just dirty right now. Yeah, it's all you know? clean up. Yeah, man. It's all yeah. clean up, man. You know what I mean? Even the man where I do the foolishness, so I, get, I, I go clean it up too. Right, and them right. see when I go, I forgot to turn around and clean it up, you know. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah, I, I hope so. You understand? Because well, when you dirty up your bedroom, I will clean it up. Yeah. Your mother? Not true that your mother don't live here, boss. You know what I mean? True that, true so that. put it this way, my virgin. When I when I was doing all of that in Montego Bay, we have some of the greatest youth, them. even some youth where you are here now. Jack Hewer, that was the first studio I'm ever coming to. Even first walk studio. Into. Wow. In my studio. Wow. You understand me? Cure, when me and him woke up for, after how much years, you know, because he mean him go through film tribulation and trials yeah. too. And him... He walk the path, he walk the fire, he walk through the fire, he get burned. Mm-hmm. You know, but him come out on the next side, you know, cool. Bigger. No, Wema didn't know that's his drift. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but yeah, so good, good kid. Yeah. Good yeah. kid, you know what I mean? So yeah. Richie Stephen, you know, come through that, come through that baptism there too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Holy for them, my brethren. Yeah, there's so much name that come through that so you wouldn't even believe it. Wow. The first hit rep, the first biggest hit record, um, when he caught the melody and Danny Dread out. That's it. What's from there? Call me, call me, just call me Angel in the morning. Danny yeah, Dread caught yeah. the melody wow. from, from that studio. You know, so we, we have recorded everybody from the Johnny Osborne down to probably, I don't know, mm. everybody we recorded. I thought live instrumentation too. Live instrumentation, everything. Because wow. it was a real studio. It was not home, homegrown laptop right, right, and right, thing. Right, it was right. a real studio. Live drums, piano, agua, we have all a beach tree in there. Mad. You know what I'm Mad. saying? Real thing, you know. Right. So probably the only one in Montego Bay at the time. Uh, I, that was the only studio in Montego Bay. There was a studio before, you know. Remember Stammer Hart, not a studio in Montego right. Bay, up at, on a Granville. But he had left and went to Miami. So that was the only studio in Montego Bay for probably 15, 16 years. Right, right. You right. know, after that, there's a bunch of other studios. There was yeah. a big studio in Montego Bay too. But um, forget to him name now. 
But he never used to rent out to the public. That was just his private thing. Mm. Yeah, man. You know, so we put Montego B on the map in right. terms of, you know, recording. Hopeton Lewis was there too with us. Wow. So you're talking about the, the classics, the yeah, legends. Exactly. Wow. You know wow. what I'm saying? But that's a part of the history that really never really get its popularity out of the right. I remember we never have social media. If you hype up things where yeah. it wasn't, you know. Yeah. So that history is still there. Got the studio is still there. Oh, it's still there. Yeah, I don't like it, Ghana. It's just not functioning like right, a record. Right, right. But it's, right. the house is still there. I still have my home in Montego Bay. Right, right, right. You, you know what I mean? Right. It's just not feasible right now for you even right. deal Le- with it. But the legacy is still there. The legacy is still there. Not going to it. Wow, I love it. Because like I said, I, I, that's, mm-hmm. that's the vibe I get when I talk to mm-hmm. musicians and yeah, entertainers. When, when Ed Robinson comes up, it's like, there's a certain level of reverence and rating. Yeah, well, I've, you know worked I mean? with, I've worked with everyone. You, you might come talk to some of them who no really want to hear many of me that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it goes both ways. Exactly, it cut both ways. You right, know? Right, because right. I mean, I've, I wasn't always a nice guy. Right, right, right. You know, at some point in your life, you forget to wear... You know, it it becomes right. a little bit vicious. Evolution, exactly. You know right. what I'm saying? I mean, you live in a you you. What is this, Florida? You live in a crocodile zone, Bridget. You know what I mean? Yup. It's not the little she weak does. crocodile. She's not, <laughs> she, all right? She's not west. It's not the, the weak crocodile that survived this jungle. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you understand? But that's the serious thing. That you, you know? pe- people like to mm. relegate certain actions to certain zones mm. based on what's going on right now. Yeah. Truth of the matter is this: I've traveled the world. Yes, sir. And the one thing I've realized is this, and, 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 and I've been blessed to travel the world, not for work, but for recreation. Yes, sir. So you get an opportunity to see stuff, not just from the stage to the bus and to the plane. Exactly, you know what I mean? exactly. And the one thing I've learned is this. Mm-hmm. Everywhere's got to get up. My brother, <laughs> everywhere's got 10 get to on one decent year. Everywhere's got a hood. So, uh, everywhere's got violence. Everywhere's got some things going on. Everywhere. Yeah. Some of the worst Violence than what we, we have, have ever seen and experienced are their own. It's not Jamaica. No. Some violence where I see outside in some capital city, even not this so called country, modern day country. I've never seen nothing like that in Jamaica. What, what go on in Jamaica not, is. That's how they paint it. What go on in Jamaica is poverty a fight itself. Man. It's, yeah. And then a guy fight himself out of poverty, become rich. And just not know what to do with the money. You know? <laughs> so him, him buy a gun and shoot him friend. Right, right. Because right. who else can he shoot? You can't reach me. Right. <laughs> yeah, you know, friend. Right, so right. so me not going to near you. So that's all yeah. him have to shoot him. So I'm where really want to shoot somebody for shoot him at a bridge and him say my bad man. You know? Yeah. So I'm going to take out somebody. So I'm going to take out one of them friend. The closest dude and the weakest link around him. And yeah. that's who him lick down. Yeah. You see, so it's an impressionist thing. It's yeah. guys impressing guys, you know, that yeah. they're tough. Yeah. You understand me? So it, it, that's why we don't really pay attention to it. Yeah, yeah. Because that's not violence, Bridget. That's ignorance. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want to see violence? Mm-hmm. Come to America. <laughs> <laughs> you understand me? That's where you really see violence. <laughs> you know what's crazy, though? Yeah. You know, there was a time where Orlando was a murder capital, right? Really? Yeah, but they wouldn't mention it because there was Disney and there was Universal Studios. Yeah. Exactly. And that, that's how this corporation of a country is. Exactly. Exactly. You know, it's exactly. like certain things will get swept under the rug. You know? it's Listen, awesome. if you don't believe America is a corporation, try and name yours and try to register it, name America and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> name already taken. Thank you. Bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? So the truth is, my brother, it's a joke. Right, right, right. Laugh at it or else it's going to laugh at you. Yeah. So we don't pay attention to them. Somebody going to be laughing. Somebody going to be laughing. Yeah. And it's, you better start with you. I dig it. You better start with you, Rasta, man. I dig it. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, I dig it. It's Mr. Ed Robinson. It's a vibe. Again, remember, we got tickets to give away. We got two, all right? And right now, I'm knock, knock, knocking on a heaven's door, boy. Knock, knock, knocking on a heaven's door. Ed Schoenbach. 
Chunbat. Chunbat. Yeah, man. Chunbat. When this song came out, mm-hmm. what, 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 what did this do? And I phrase it this way um, for the career of Ed Robinson. Oh, God, everything, everything. But hear the, hear the ir- irony behind this record. I hate this record. <laughs> <laughs> This record come out in an era of Jamaican music mm-hmm. when nobody was singing anything pleasant. <laughs> Timing was off. Exactly. <laughs> but <laughs> give thanks to Mr. Ruel Thompson, yeah. what a tough gang, that his mind was somewhere else. Like nobody was on that plane flying nowhere. Mm-hmm. And him just take that flight there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this come out in the era of Trilla Loader Girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Shabba got the place like When Mr. Shabba, Shabba rang up the place like it was, <laughs> like uh, him own every leaf of uh, every bush in Jamaica. Ba, ba. You understand me? <laughs> so that was the era mm-hmm. where, where, you know, uh, uh, what, what, what you take, man, for? But Tiger. Tiger. You, this was the era. Dance all uh, energy. Dance all energy. Yeah. And... I used to come out with some song. Like Mr. Peter put up say, um, Mikey Bennett um, with the juggling thing. It wasn't really a juggling, um, my, um, P- Peter. It was a song that me and Mikey Bennett and somebody else went into a studio, um, Jack Scarpia's studio in Jewsland, mm-hmm. and we make that record. It's called Roughneck. You know, that was my one of my dancehall tunes that really raised me up to and get me on Sunsplash and all them things and nice, get nice, me signed nice. to MCA label and all them things right. but when knocking at heaven door come out I wanted so bad to be a part of that dancehall thing <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> because that was it I remember you know Bridget I come from ghetto you know Yeah. you know what I mean I just have the ability to twist a melody different over five to six different chords. Right. You know what I mean? But So I never really know better than nobody else. Mm-hmm. I never really more intelligent and more educated than nobody else. You know what I mean? But I just want to be a part of that crowd, that part, that crowd that you yeah. run up on stage and people go, ray, ray. Yeah. But this Virgin Real Thompson saw something different or something above that yeah, yeah. in me. So I was like, yo, Virgin, I don't even like how you sing dance on music. I don't even like how you sing ragamuffin music. It's a rule. Kick the dream. Exactly. Right? <laughs> so to me personally, yeah. it might kill what me know because yeah. me never know nothing else other than get or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Me never really know about, you know, I love you, baby, baby crap. You know, love who? You know, love who? Come on, baby. Link up and then. It exactly. <laughs> it's a, if a rude boy or this or, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And bojo band and take one like a piece of it and brr and gone and, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, and we know roughneck. Why are you hit and run? Yeah, and we are, we're, we are the song from fattest label and all them to exterminate. You hear the name of the label? So exterminate in a dance hall culture. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. My entrance into that something there, in a, into where people start know me. Mark, you know, I'm a musician. I'm coming from playing jazz, right, in a right, hotel, right. But me can't enter into what jazz. Mm. You get some jazz on the back of my arm, too, man. You know, so we can't, we want to enter, we want to go up and sting to you know. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. we fall a victim of that wannabe yeah. thing. So we run up in that and start sing some things where, yes, it was our culture too, because we was raised like that. Right. But this bridge in us saw in me what I never seen of myself. Mm. And I hated him for that. Right, right, right. right. I hated the song for you that. Know for <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So guess what? I mean, I didn't even fall out. Yeah. No words exchange with us, with us going from each other. With us, mm. cry, you know, what you like call it? No pathways. Mm. You know? We never even argue. We never even talk about it. After I put out that tune, I'm going to go like, no, so you that tune, you put out Virgin. Bye. <laughs> that was it. That was it. <laughs> we just disappear from each other. Mm. But looking back now at the old thing, it was one of the most ignorant moves I've ever made. Mm-hmm. One of the most dumbest, stupidest moves I've ever made. <laughs> because a person who saw in me mm-hmm. what, what I never see to myself. Because mm-hmm. I want to be one of the, I want to have tune on the dance hall charts. I want to yeah. be on juggling too. Yeah, that stuff is appealing though. I can see why exactly, you'd want it. You know exactly, I mean? because when you run up on run up on stage, when I run up on stage with if I rude boy at this back in the day, mm. that place flat. Yeah, yeah. 
Please flat. But I never know say that was a two week calling. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's two week calling we're talking about from long time, you know. Right. And that's why you yeah. have to if one start the tune they run out or the rhythm they did. You have to sling thing your way into another thing. <laughs> you understand me? So you have to just constantly have a, a bunch of baga 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 tune. Yeah, just yeah. keep going, 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 going. And, and the, the minute you get, you ease off your career done. Yeah, expire, right? That's exactly. Yeah. You know, you have to go wait till the next wave come back around and then say, yeah, legend. <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> that word they get tossed around so no if I get a, if I have a dollar for every time somebody call me a legend I'll be I'm mean, not I mean, sitting down and talk to you right now dog I'm rich <laughs> you know man, I drive down Biscayne Boulevard I don't want to be Bentley's off a legend Bentley. thank you <laughs> you know what I'm saying another time I'll be with you man <laughs> you're <talking>. rich <laughs> rich people that talk to people man <laughs> you know what I mean my account right <laughs> so, so the truth is what 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 people see in you sometimes mm-hmm. Sometimes you don't really see it in yourself, especially yeah. when you're young and inexper- inexperienced. Mm-hmm. You know, you really don't see it in yourself. So sometimes you have to just sit back and just listen where somebody were outside the room yeah, yeah. are looking, mm-hmm. or somebody were inside the room are look out. I got you. You know, because we are in the rain, Bridget. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The only thing we are look for is an umbrella or a shelter. Right, right. It's trying you to know, stay dry. People, you, the, you don't even realize that the man in the room have the camera. I shot it out by you and the best picture I've ever seen mm-hmm. is when you wet. Mm-hmm. I so, like that. So when him snap it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Him get a great picture. Look on the picture where are the biggest, baddest, most popular picture will come out of China. Is when the, the, the soldier them might use a, 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 a tank for run over a little woman. Wow. That is the most popular picture we ever come out of China. Right. When you said China, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Mm-hmm. That is not beauty. Right, right, right. That is tragedy in its, its, in its purest form. But yet still, that, that, that's popular. That are the popular, popular yeah. thing will come out of China. Yeah, yeah. You understand me? Yeah. So sometimes when some people inside that look out, them see so, totally from where you are feel. Yeah, yeah. So some, you. sometimes you have to take their advice. Stay right there, don't move. What? Give me an umbrella and shut up. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? I'll get me under that shelter and shut up. I don't want you know for me because I'm wet and cold. Yeah. But I the best picture them see of you. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? And that's how my career mm-hmm. start with that record. Of all the songs them when we do, mm-hmm. I'm totally not relevant now. Mm-hmm. All of the, the, and, the gangster thing. Ah, the gangster tune. Do. Don't get me wrong, we still do it, you know, but every now and then we f- still feel like we're tough. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Till two girls had to come over, you know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Until two girls dry away. You know, talk about talk. I'm <laughs> not talk to you, now. Them dry I away. I love it. You know what I mean? So the truth is, Bridget. <laughs> I carry it name, you know what I mean? It is what so, it is. Yeah, it's, it's just how we all, just like our accountant, mm-hmm. get good at what he does in terms of tricking who he want to trick with fem- figures and the money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's so how you get good at, good at twisting a melody. Right, right. Or twisting a song, you know? It's a big Come tune, on. it's a big tune. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about Knock on Heaven's Door, all right? Big up yourself, Papa Beto. Tomorrow's gonna be a great show. I want y'all to stick around. Mr. Ed Robinson's gonna touch a microphone in a second. Knock, knock, knocking on a heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on a heaven's door. Big, 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 big one. Shauna, what up? Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Remember, we got two tickets. Knock, knock, knocking on a heaven's door. And I'm going to scope through and go through messages. I know they're going by a lot faster than I can keep up. Knocking on a heaven's door. 
I'm gonna make sure the tickets get to the right people, all right? Knock, knock, knocking on a heaven's door. It's a big, 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 big show. Ed. Yes, sir. A lot of people, big up yourself, Peter John. A lot of people are, um, you know, tuning in from all across the globe because mm, yeah, well, the catalog is vast. It's the beauty of this internet thing, bridge. And, oh, it makes the world so much smaller. Yeah, man, it's not just a look at era dance anymore, you know. Ah, trust me, trust <laughs> not me, trust me. Session no more. It's and I love it. I love yeah, it. I love it. I love it because what? it gives us an opportunity to reach somebody immediately. Immediately, bridge. People strive for, uh, mm-hmm. you know, and I guess times have changed. So some people may say no, which I like to tell. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole concept of I'm going to go to the major labels, right? Mm-hmm. You've had your experience. Oh. With the, with the major. You've had your experience with the indie. You've had your experience experiences. with the experiences. Experiences. <laughs> and then with the, with, with the distributors who aren't really labels, who are saying they're labels, and the one bug of BS, right? Mm-hmm. Now, talk to me a little bit about that, 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 that the differences with going out there with the majors versus doing it the independent route. And also, which route are you more comfortable in? Okay. The, 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 the major labor route, if you're broke <laughs> and you I try to get off of the starting block real quick, like <laughs> who's, seeing, <laughs> who's seeing the bolt, you know what I mean? Bang, bang. It's cool to jump on a major label right. because them have a thing when in the advance. Because if you're broke, you need an advance up mm-hmm. front. Because you have to start a life that nobody did know so you used to live. And right. you can't be on a major label and still ride a bicycle. It don't work right. 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 No, you it don't look right. You can't tell them to exercise. No, you can't tell them to say so. It's a, it's a, we call a thing that they always a treadmill with wheels. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I'm in a spinning class. Dog. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're having... You often look right. Right. You know, you, if you, if you broke and you don't have the money and you are a talented youth, the, the major labor way is a great and a good way to start. Because mm-hmm. you're nice, advanced, unless somebody jip you out a bit, you know. Which happens. Which happens. It happened to me, so I can't. <laughs> right, right, right. Know, I can't laugh now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was vexed then. <laughs> <laughs> but because I, I was ignorant then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, I feel you Yeah But Experience The major label thing is sweet You know Advance nice Boom 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 You do all of that You know And if you're smart You can invest that money You can turn that money Into You know Good goal mm-hmm. At the end of the day Even if you never get a hit record Because some of us End up with double zinc Right, right. Not <laughs> double platinum Right right You know right. what I'm saying Nickel Right mm-hmm. But so But The truth is if I know then what I know now, right. I would even say hi to them. Wow. Wow. Them heal me and I would act like me not hear them. Yeah. Me is one of the first deaf artists where you ever woke up in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? But my butt. But my sick. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, put it this way. Independent is a great way to go these days. Mm-hmm. If you're not getting a record deal, that will give you a nice go sum up front. Right. If you need that money. Right. We all do. But here's the catch to getting money up front. Mm-hmm. People don't understand that the money that let me say we can put it in a layman's term. Everybody have aspiration of buying a house. Mm-hmm. When you go to the bank and you get the money or the loan, whatever, to buy the house, the bank give you the loan, mm-hmm. you buy the house from Joan. Mm-hmm. The house is now yours and you pay back the loan to the bank. Right. The bank get back the money. House pay off. It's your house. Mm-hmm. You know what you want nothing. You know what the bank nothing. So now you can broke down a house and build up something nice money or you can sell back that house and put a money in your pocket and disappear to China. Right. See? Right. Now, it's the same thing with a record company. But here's where the politics and the mathematics get very, very, very Jamaican. Mm-hmm. See? You go to the bank, which is the record company, mm-hmm. and, the, and the bank give you the money to go produce the album. Mm-hmm. When you're done with that album, the album's supposed to belong to you. Not so with a record <laughs> company. You have yeah. to be paying back the record company the, their money mm-hmm. that they loan you right. to do the album. Right. You have to pay them back. And at the end of the day, when you done pay them back, they still, still own that else. album. <laughs> Yeah. You understand yeah. me? So that's the difference between getting a record deal. That's gangster. 
Thank you. <laughs> you have to respect them for yeah. their gangster brethren. <laughs> That's gangster. Because if I can lend you money mm-hmm. to go buy a car, mm. and when you're done paying me back that money for the car, I am my car same way. <laughs> That's gangster. Dog, I want to be part of that. <laughs> you understand? You understand yep, me? yep, yep, yep. So that's why I said me have to own a label too. Right, right. I mean, right. I, I don't think I would have the 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 the, the bars to do that to some some guy who have talent. Right. But if I can get away with robbing this dude, I will. Right, right. right. I will rob him. <laughs> right, because that, that that that's the manuscript. That's how it works. Exactly, because that's how it works with right. record labels. Right. So if you're an artist and you figure that out, mm-hmm. what you have to do is when you get that advance money. Let's say you get a. Five hundred thousand, if you get that much, because mm-hmm. when you sign Not a record, no, 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 no. When you sign a record deal for two million dollars, mm-hmm. it's two million dollars to do everything so that you can become a prince or a Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. It's not two million dollars to your pocket, right. right? Right, right. You probably end up with a hundred and fifty thousand dollars to your pocket mm-hmm. if you get that much, if so much. Yeah, because I, I was supposed to get three hundred thousand for my deal, mm-hmm. right? Coming from Jamaica, you know, you know, they now give much more than that fair, right. fair record deal. It's a lot of money, right? And that was some years ago. Exactly. Right. That was, damn, 20 something years ago. Yeah. I got $300,000 of my, somewhere in that ballpark. Mm-hmm. I only end up with $5,000 in my, <laughs> my, my pocket. <laughs> so, but. It's cash though. But yeah. So, but <laughs> being the hothead I was, right. I invest that five grand mm-hmm. into something that I cannot explain because it right. might come back to incriminate me. <laughs> right, right. You know, on the grounds it might well, incriminate me. Your statues of, <laughs> statues of yeah. Yeah. So edit that out. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? So I took that five grand, mm-hmm. invested into right. what I want to invest and turn that money. Right. So if I, if I didn't get nothing from, more from that record company, which I never did, mm-hmm. You know, management and musician and everybody get everybody more else. money out of that record deal yeah. than I did. Mm-hmm. But I can show you what? even my shoes list, my sneakers right now that I still buy from that from that money because so I you turn got something it. to show exactly mm-hmm. I, because I turn it. Mm-hmm. You know, right. so if if you if you're smart as an artist, you can. See something from a record company deal, right? If you're not smart, we're probably going to show you some pawn shop deals, <laughs> you know. But it's going to be a deal, <laughs> exactly. Because I I walk into a pawn shop and see one of my coworkers that I was with buy a chin mm-hmm. for seventeen thousand dollars back in them days, and it was a ten carat <laughs> gold wow, chain. Man. You remember them rope chain there with yep, the big yep, pen? Yep, that yep, them. yep. I went in there with him. Yeah, him. Did have a deal for 150 grand. Yeah. And him buy a $17,000 chain. I have a deal for $3,000 and I buy a $250 chain. Right, right, right. Because right. we all have to have a chain. Hey, what are we talking about? It's necessary. It's very necessary. It's part, it's part of the imagery. So, you know, so we have, we, have, we have to look good. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So between jewel, clothes, and cologne. Right. You know That's what I'm saying? Budget. That's the budget. That's the budget. You can't really. In that order. You can't spend your money upon that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have, you have to go the, the, the nice little way. Yeah. You can't go the big way. You can't start flex like the PD there and them on it because your budget not in this one. Yeah. Way. Budget ain't the same. Exactly. Because <laughs> people don't understand that. Buy some droop. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you just call my name because that's what I. <laughs> that's why I end up. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Because people don't understand something bridge. A lot of us as artists never understand this. Yeah. When you are a name brand, when you are a brand, you cannot be running around wearing other people's brand mm-hmm. with that you have to buy. Mm. If you are gonna wear these brands. On you and make people see that Oh I'm wearing You know Yakashi or whatever The brand name mm-hmm. Saying A demo for Give you all of them things For yeah. free for wearing They're paying you Endorse them thing Indirectly They're yeah. paying you yeah. To endorse their thing So you mm-hmm. Me can't walk in a store Go buy You know Homegrown G t-shirt Are you should have Give me that My thing I support the movement so I'm Exactly Bridget You know So this is where The trick will come in Because we're not Educated to a business that is a business. Yeah. We're educated to the hype. Right, right. We right. know the hype also. go. Yo, you know, see that, you know once, once upon a time, I remember when the new the new chain was the new color chain was platinum. Mm-hmm. 
You understand? Yep. All of a sudden, he just changed and gone back to yellow gold. Gone back to yellow gold, yep. Rose understand? gold took a minute, a week or two. Exactly. You didn't get more two days. Yeah, like some career. Exactly. But, yeah, I feel you. You know, so we have to understand that it's a business. And if you don't treat it like one, it going to treat you like you're the idiot. I love that. You know what I, I mean? That. It's all it's about business. That's why in your music business, you know anything some else? Some people try to figure it apart. You know? Exactly. It's your music business, you know? I so, love it. I love it. I that's, love how, it. that's how we have to live it, my brother. We have to live it like it's a business. Why do you think I'm in, I'm in Florida? Right. Because I like crocodiles. <laughs> oh, you load Yo, when I come over the crocodiles. <laughs> no. We, have, we got other things here. Bridge right? and I free a lizard. Like, <laughs> if you want to rob me, don't use a gun. <laughs> come up with a lizard. <laughs> come up with a lizard. <laughs> yes, Give me everything you got. Because I've escaped guns before. I've never escaped a lizard. As I see them, I freeze up. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? So the truth is, my bridging. Us as musicians, us as artists, us as singers, producers, whatever, we have to treat it like a business. Right, right, right. Because everybody else is. We're the only ones that don't. We are the only ones that don't treat it like it's a business, Bridget. Somebody look at you, they might treat it like, don't get me wrong, because I've seen them. I see some look at you. Oh, they're doing way better now. They're doing greater because they're on their own. They're doing their thing. They might do their merchandising. You know, and they learn from the mistakes of Annette Robinson. Uh, exactly. The, uh, the inform- and, and here's the other thing too. Exactly. And you're also generous with the information. But I see what, what, what I've come to learn pretty mm-hmm. much is when you were coming up, and I was just going generation wise and doing mm-hmm. it, mm-hmm. The, the generation before you either one didn't know better mm-hmm. or were not, they were, they, were, they, were, they were not sharing the info. They're very selfish. Truth right? is, they never know better. They never know no better. They never know no better. All right. Well, we'll I've with dealt them. with probably 90% of them. Right, right. And, and they, they, they didn't even know. Mm-hmm. You know, they come in on my camp. There's an artist that came into my camp, or into my circle. He wasn't part of my camp, but he came into my circle and learned that there was about $180,000 there waiting on him to collect out of France. Wow. And he went for it and got it. Right, right, right. You understand me? There's money out there. If you check the backlog of mm. all of these things, there's money in France for all of us. I get some. Get on top of your publishing. Exactly. Yeah. Because once you put out a record, you know, this d and age and the internet thing, Bridget, every song about thumbprint, why do you think Facebook trying to take you down? You think I'm going to take you down because you play people music? Right. And, 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 and you're not supposed to do it? They're going to take you down because they don't want to pay these people for their publishing. Right. Right. That's why they're taking you down. Not because you are playing the music. Mm-hmm. They, they somebody got to pay. Exactly. They're taking you down because Facebook don't want to pay out right. Right. for you playing the music. Right. Can you imagine? Because they would have to. It's a platform. No, it's Thank you. Like a venue. Exactly. Yeah. I remember that people don't, a lot of us as artists didn't know that when you play in a place like those, that's what musician unions are for. And that's when you pay into the publishing and them just split up that money that pan everybody because them didn't know say you play there. Fear f- your song I play there. When your song play in an elevator, you get play, pay. <laughs> when your song play in a Macy's, when you ever walk in a Macy's and hear them yeah, yeah. play the song up there, so. They're supposed to submit that playlist. They, they, thank you. You have to get paid as an artist for that. And many people don't because I had a conversation with somebody who was probably mm-hmm. twice my age in senior mm-hmm. and, 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 and twice my tenure in the business. Mm-hmm. And they didn't know that. He never paid attention to that. He didn't look, you can't blame him, you know. Yeah. Because there was no, there's people before us are, that was with us that know the game. They know the racket. Mm-hmm. And they never shared it with us. Right. So some people were, in fact, stingy with the info. There's a lot of people who know the business. Right. Who know, and you can tell who know the business. Right. Just look behind the house of them living at. <laughs> look behind can tell who don't know the exactly. business. Exactly. You know, looking so, at the house of them living. Thank you. So the truth is, a lot of people know the business, but they never really share it. Right, right. They never really share. They're more for sign you. All right, put it this way, Dred. I sign a contract mm-hmm. in Jamaica mm-hmm. with a big publisher. And 10 years, 12 years later, mm-hmm. I get a, a publishing deal with a company out of California. Mm-hmm. And when I go to boom and them try to sign my back catalog and blah, 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 mm-hmm. I lost the deal because I was signed to this company in Jamaica for life and did not know wow. one word. Mm-hmm. How am I supposed to know that word? Eh? Mm-hmm. It's called perpetuity. Yo, hold up. Stick, stick a pin right there. Stick a pin right there. Stick a pin right there. Me never Mr. see that Winston word in Francis, my life. There goes your word. I had a conversation with Winston Francis right there. You remember that conversation? Yeah. And that's the same word he said, look out for. Thank you. It wow. means for life. Right. Once you sign a contract, 
We mark perpetuity. Not it. Perpetuity upon a marriage contract, anybody know? No. Isn't that supposed to mean for life? The, you make vows say, honor you for life, blah, 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 right? Yeah, but. And perpetuity <laughs> not, not, not upon a marriage contract. <laughs> No, but yo, don't but say it the Lord. Re- Next thing, somebody go put the thing in at the thing. Uh, all right. So, but it depend on but it depend on a record, on a record deal. Deal. Upon a publishing deal. Wow. You understand me? The Real ma- married. The man they even signed it for like thirty years, forty years. The guy, God bless, will probably get the next fifty. You know what that is? Once <laughs> until you're dead. Until you're dead. And even thereafter. And thereafter, not even your kids them can come claim. Wow. That from you. So when you, when we sign contracts as youth, mm-hmm. and put it this way, you know the reason why I signed that contract. Mm-hmm. I leave from Montego Bay to Kingston and never have a taxi if you're a minibus fare. Them time that minibus used right. to run the place. If you go back home. Mm. And they give me 150,000 Jamaican dollars. How oh, my mother for tell me say don't sign it because I have a word. Pro- me and my mother go war. Right, right, right. Right. And we don't own a dictionary either. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, what do you know about property though? Where are you there? Yeah. Give me a fight, mama. <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> so the truth is when we're not educated to something, mm-hmm. we're basically ignorant to right. it. And that's where run Jamaican music. If there's an industry, because I don't think there's a Jamaican music industry. There's none. Nah. You can't tell me nothing. There's, there's, no, there's no Jamaican music business or music hustle. Right. There's no Jamaican music industry. industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. True. I agree. You understand? Be, because people don't know that. You, know, you see the Grammy? Mm-hmm. The Grammy is set up with a thing called life. Mm-hmm. That means if you was a musician and you was part of their little thing, their little American music something, mm-hmm. and something happened to you, they take care of you for life. Them take it out of our money. Right. Because we're members of it. Mm-hmm. We pay for it every year, hundred and something dollars. hundred dollars a year, sorry. Right. And you get a card. Them have an insurance for everybody that's part of it. Mm-hmm. So anything happened to you, you book it to and you become homeless or whatever, they look out for you. Right. Is that is anything in them Jamaica set up like that? No. Not when a Jamaican art, th- thank you. When a Jamaican art is drop dead, mm. saying, can't it, find the money for bury him. <laughs> Sad. It, 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 if it's not a go done, me is a go fund me. <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> so this is where I mean, and the done me has become more popular. Thank you. Brother. The go done me has become more popular because Way more. The, the truth is, my brethren, none of us have a trump up. Mm-hmm. For Barry, some people where we love and respect. Yeah, yeah, sad. Up, move on, over, and over again. Shouldn't be that way, though. It, sh- it can't be that way, my Bridget. That have to stop. Shouldn't be that way. But the truth is, Bridget, do you think, sir, every artist that comes out of Jamaica made money for somebody? That's yeah. why you still keep hearing them over and over again. Somebody benefited. They're making money, Bridget. Yeah. Once a song is played on the internet, mm-hmm. somebody is getting paid. Yeah. yeah. Once a song is streamed, Somebody gets something. Somebody's getting something. Mm-hmm. And a lot of artists, me ask a whole lot of artists up to the day before yesterday, before me left New York. I said to a bridge of mine, in my, in my duo, Uber job, I said, tell me something. You with Sound Exchange? Mm-hmm. Sound Exchange, that come and go like, with him, so. Wow. This bridge has been in the business for 30 years. Wow. Don't know what Sound Exchange is. And don't know what Sound Exchange is. Wow. So you have to sit him down and say, first thing you have to say to them is, do me a favor, go to soundexchange.com and read it up. Right, right. There goes the problem. Mm. There goes the problem. Dude can't read. And wow. he don't trust nobody to read it for him. Right. Even though he can't. Even though he can't. Mm. You understand me? So that's the problem. People don't understand this. Education is a mother, a lot of A lot of us can't read. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of us can't read. And we not trust no guy because once we see you coming in my circle, we just know so you have ulterior motive. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you've been screwed over before, <laughs> you know, which majority of them have. In Every so one of us has been screwed over, Bridget, yeah. because once a guy find out, it's a, it's a chess game, you know. Mm-hmm. We pull, are you, me and you are playing this game. You are management, you are producer, you are whatever. Me, sit over as an artist, and we, we make we move. We all make we move, and we make we talk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the minute we say certain things, him know you can't read. Right, right, right. And he knows exactly what the to do. The minute him listen with interviews, mm-hmm. him know we can't read. Yeah. Perfect target. Perfect target. So them, 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 they make them move, and guess what? Them win the game. Yeah. It's a game. It's, it, it is. And, and in the game, somebody wins, somebody loses. Exactly. Right? I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a game, Bridget. I love so it. as an artist, play the game 
Like you know where I do. If you don't know where I do, leave the game. You're going to lose you. There's a difference between gambling and betting. <laughs> Figure it out, man. Come in and tell you that all the while. You understand me? I will, I will, I will, I will give you a heads up on certain things, you know. Right. I will lead you through the forest, you know, Bridget. Right. But me now, nah, hold your hand. Right, 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 right. You understand me? I feel you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting a lot of knowledge here, and, and, and I, I spend a lot of time talking to business and music because I do think it's the most important aspect of it. I it is the you. only thing. There's the only thing nothing that else that you know, matters in this business. There's average, average talent that's very successful because yeah. they know the business, and there's heavy talent that's minimal success because they don't know the business. They don't know the business. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we're talking to Mr. Ed Robinson, and as, as much as he's, he's, he's given us that, you know, the business side of it, don't forget for a minute. The entertainment is very important, but the business is more important, her. <laughs> <laughs> He's an artist, yo. <laughs> yeah, dig. I'm talking about the archives. I'm talking about digging in the crates. God, you're gone. Far down. Far down the middle. <laughs> Stadium reggae, man. You're gonna love that tune, eh? No? Play them tune and stadium, man. Play them mash up, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jamaican Jim. Appreciate you. Legend. <laughs> well, I go on. Cheryl, Cheryl, can you zap her for me, please? <laughs> what's your name? What's your name? <laughs> she's not Florida. I think she's not <laughs> Walt Disney World. Orlando. Orlando. Big up Orlando every time. Cheryl, keep your lizard them down there, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them tune are bad. Them tune are classic. So give different. thanks. Give thanks. I love give thanks. digging in the vault, man, because trust uh-huh. me, that's where, that's, that's, that's where my head's at. Yeah. No, you've always got, you're, you're mm-hmm. constantly... Putting out the music, you're constantly mm-hmm. working. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. What's what's on the horizon? What's next? Music. Oh God, same deal, mm-hmm. same deal. Come next week, we we have records coming in. Come next month, we have records coming out. You know, we, I just keep working, Virgin. You right. know what I mean? I just keep working. I mean, put it this way: you will listen to, you will get into Ed Robinson, you know, catalog on on iTunes, wherever, and you hear two two different kind of vibe. Right. You know, you will hear songs that I, I didn't write. Right? You will hear songs that I, I've, I've written. Mm-hmm. You know? There's a reason for that. Right. The big reason for that. Some people think I have more remakes than than, than original, original song. I have way more original. But in this day and age, people don't understand <laughs> this. In this business, bless you, you know, in this business, it doesn't matter. Right, right, right. It doesn't matter if you remake 50 songs or you write 16 songs. It's your preference. I prefer for the both of them. Right. Because once you put out a, 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 a remake, you still get, this is not the old days, it's not your grandfather business, Bridget. Right, right. You're still getting paid from it. So once it play up on the internet, once you play it, once you stream it, I am getting paid. And the original artist benefits too. The, thank you. Yeah. I'm getting paid because I'm getting paid for my work. On that song, right. not like once upon a time where we only get paid from because if you if you don't write the song, you now get paid. <laughs> right. If you don't publish the song, if you don't copyright the song, whatever, you know, back in them days, you you will get paid from your publishing. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, you get from whatever the mechanical, whatever. Right, you right, know what I'm right. saying? You right. get paid right. for singing the record. It's mm-hmm. your version. You're getting paid for your version of that record. Right. And it's not more than or less than the original that you write. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's the same deal. I dig it. You get stream on the, the Sirius XM. You get stream on the Sound Exchange, not Sound Exchange, um, Spotify. I find all them, yeah. Every, there's, there's a billion streaming services in this world. I think Jay-Z pay, pay more. <laughs> not everybody else. <laughs> not everybody else. Yeah, everybody you get, else ripping. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you, you get pay for all of them things. Mark, it might be cents. Might be a little bit fraction of money. Adds up. But if you think like oh some nation of this world, I think every penny counts. Every penny add up to adds up. a shilling. You know what I mean? Every every up. cent add up to a dollar. Yeah, ask the man that don't have a penny. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I appreciate it. You know, so put it this way, Bridget. Like I said before, it's a business. Don't forget that part of it. Don't forget it. Don't forget no, about no it. No matter how much hype you see a coming at, if you right. don't have the business, you're gonna be the next. You're gonna be the last year joke, man. Right, right, right. You're gonna be last year. You know the butt of the joke. 
I dig it. I dig it. And 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 and, and what we've got to know is this: mm-hmm. the knowledge is the information is somewhere. All right, yeah. make an effort to go find it's it. It's called Google. Call, call, call by the name Google, and and do not be yeah. accosting Ed in the airport asking him to re, to repeat all of us. <laughs> 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 and the truth is, I might. You might repeat I'm, it. I might, but like I said, Bridget. I will walk you through the jungle, but I'm not holding your hand. Right, right. You understand me? Right. I have that phobic there. <laughs> you know, I will walk you through the jungle, Bridget, mm-hmm. with a man or a woman, because if a woman these days are me too. Right. You understand <laughs> me? Dangerous. And if a man are phobic, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the truth is, yeah, Bridget, I will walk you through the jungle. Right, right. I will point out direction, mm-hmm. the ones that I know. Don't get me wrong, I don't know everything. Right. Because there's something that I've, I've learned even yesterday. I've learned some things. But what you do now? But what I do now, I will show For a guy, sure. but I'm like not it. holding your hand and show you. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I never, never really grow or grow me in a life and be a teacher, you know? Right. I will be a director. Right. I will direct you to what the thing is, but me not teach you nothing. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's how you think work. And that's how you think work, dog. <laughs> I'll I, I pimp in Las Vegas, tell me one time, so yeah. look, get, look, dog, this game is for soul, not to be told. Was he wearing some glass shoes? Uh, trust me, with some <laughs> fish in it. <laughs> if it ain't easy. With, right? with some goldfish in it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> and trust me, even what? them dude that turn me on to some games. And them man that make me There's stop gamble everywhere. and stop bet. Mm. They make me start bet and stop gamble. Stop gamble. You understand me? Because you, can't, you can't put your money upon nothing where, you, where you're not sure if it's going to win. You have to put your money upon something that you know it's going to win. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, so it's a difference. That's a bet. That's a bet. Right. You dig. Like, so, like betting somebody to go up there and play drums. Thank you. That's a bet. That's a bet. All right. The person who bet against you, that's a gamble. That's a gamble. <laughs> <laughs> you dig. <laughs> Yeah, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's, it's a business, Rasta man. You know, like I said, and I can't, I can't stress it no more. Mm-hmm. If you're stepping into this game, yeah, you're going to step it knowing how to play. Yeah. If you don't know how to play, you're probably not going to get the deal that like Michael Jordan and Scotty Pippen and them guys who can play get. Right, right, right. And I always remember, you know, every to every great Jordan in this business, yeah, mm-hmm. there's some Dennis Rodman. And there's some Scotty Pippins. Always. Always. Don't ever forget that part. You understand me? Yeah. And there's always a great coach. Yeah. I did miss that class there. Right. When me I come up. And that's why I may get rid of Royal and them. <laughs> Man. Royal, big of yourself. You All right. Me. My sincere apology uh, to you. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know I mean? Always remember that there's always a great coach. There's always somebody where you look to and say, what do you think, coach? Yeah. You know, I always find that person where you can trust. You can bounce some ideas off. Exactly. And somebody who, if a man don't believe in your career, you only believe when he can make off or you get rid of him fast. Yeah. And hopefully you can identify that early. Yeah, man. You have to find him fast and lizard him, man. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> you understand me? He have to be lizard. You got to get him. that lizard. Exactly. You got to so, lizard, lizard. Exactly. So the truth is, Bridget, find yourself... A great Scotty Pippins and a great Dennis Radman. Yeah. And make sure you're fine. So with, with, with a big coach at the name is a coach Michael Jordan. What is the name? Phil. Phil. Phil Jackson. Find yourself a Phil. Yeah. Because three different people we're talking about. You know? We're talking about two players mm-hmm. and a coach. That allowed you to be MJ. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. You dig. I want you pre the knowledge that the artist is dropping for you because that's two things that don't always go hand in hand. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know. Artistry and knowledge normally is on the complete opposite ends of the spectrum. To every great Bob Marley, there's always a great Chris Blackwell. True that. We need that. And there's always a great Wheeler's band. Yeah. Yeah. You understand me? Success is not a... a, a, a it's not a one-man yeah. game, man. There's very little people. Now, credit might be only given one. Yeah. But there's very little successful people Thank you. who got successful. You name me a benefit. game. You name me a game that only have one player. Yeah, it don't work. Who do you think the caddy is to golf? You think he just did it for caddy bag? Yeah, he ain't walking up and down for free either. Sometimes I am trick the ball. See that? You understand me? No, you Sometimes I am cool the game. And yeah. If yeah. you don't believe me, go watch Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> go watch the tape. <laughs> go watch the tape. Watch the tape. Sometimes some ball and some pocket in a bridge. Yeah. And some pocket have a hole in it. Yeah. And it just drop out right there. In the right spot. At the right spot. Even though I saw it going to trees. Thank you. <laughs> you but know. don't believe what you saw. You can't believe your eyes. <laughs> You're some madman if you believe your eyes in a bridge. <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, don't you believe are. your eyes. There are, there are performers out there. Not your own eyes. Yeah, exactly. Don't believe your own eyes, man. Believe Who you gonna believe? You. Me or your, your own eyes? You know. Some people think it's a joke, you know. Yeah, seriously. But the seriousness that's behind that. Yeah. You know. You know. I gonna believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we have <laughs> magic. Wow. I love it. I love it. I love that's it. That's why we have magic. Right, right, right. I dig it. It doesn't exist, man. It's only in your mind. Yeah. Yeah, dig. Majority of it crashes in your mind. It's fun. You know? I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. One of, the, one of the wild, and I love the conversation. When I tell them, I have a blast. I'm going to keep having a blast. But some people, I know them have me up right about now because I promised them a long time ago that, yeah. that, that, that Ed Robinson was going to hit the stage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ah. So, whenever I vex with me, I got you, all right? I, I'm hitting the stage on Saturday, so. Now, I get my quick thing right about now. We're going to fire up. The, we brought up the good shit. Oh, we now. touched something for them. We touched something for them right now. We're not going to come on under that. And I do that thing for them. We're not going to come on under that. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, I know you didn't sit here waiting patiently on me. So I got the artist here for you, Mr. Ed Robinson. You ready for them? Oh, you mean? All right, brother. <laughs> Let's roll. Rock and roll it. Whoa, 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 yes. Love me true. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bless me now. If I fall on my heart, sit down. I'm gonna love ya, lady. I'm gonna love you, love you. And if I fall in my tears, my tears, said I'm gonna leave you, leave you. But if I fall in my eyes, when well, it's crying time, I'll be crying, I'll be crying to you, baby. And if I follow what my sister, we will be true. We will be true. We will be true. We will be true. Listen. If I follow my heart, yeah. Said I'm gonna love you. Lady, I'm gonna love you. If I fall on my tears, my tears, said I'm gonna leave you, I'm gonna leave you. But if I fall on those stars, they're shining bright, I'll be loving you, girl, right on through the night, yeah, yeah. And if I fall on what my says, girl, be true, we will be true, baby, we'll be true, yeah. we will be true, well listen what you gotta do, take my hand, cause I'm following my heart, yes, most people say we should stay apart, oh my love, oh my love, my love, my love, yeah. If I follow my heart, I'm gonna love you so. Yeah. If I follow my heart, I'm gonna love you so, baby. Yeah, yeah. If I follow my heart. If I follow, if I follow my heart, lady, I'm gonna love you. I said, if I follow my dreams, if I follow my dreams, baby, I'm gonna stay with you. And if I follow what my says, girl, huh, we will be true. We will be true, yeah, we will be true, we will be true, uh, we will be true, we will be true, we will be true, we will be true, I said we will be true, yeah, yeah, <laughs> 
It's a big one, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. What I want to name If I Follow My Heart, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about raw vocals. We ain't tweaked up nothing, all right? We don't have the capability <laughs> to do so. So you're getting what you get. All right. I bought not artists on like this. Make sure you come out to the show because there's so much more to get. We have another big, 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 big tune. Arguably my favorite, Eddie Robinson tune. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So we're dropping one for the masses right now. You ready for them? Yes, sir. Let's go. Massive. Feel with this. Ooh, we'll hold them down. Whoa, way. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, listen. I heard them say, Mama, take this badge off of me. Yeah, cause I can't use it anymore now. No way. It's getting dark, way too dark to see. Yeah, so right now I feel I'm knocking on heaven's door so I'ma say it right now I'm knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door huh. Yeah Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Oh yeah Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Listen Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Say I gotta put my guns to the ground, yes Cause I can't use it anymore now You see the long black cloud is coming down Right on me cause I feel I'm a knocking on heaven's door, yeah So what we're doing right now We're knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door yeah, we're knock, knock, knocking on a heaven's door, yeah. What are we doing right now? We're knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Oh, yeah. Knock, knock, knocking. Listen while my pianist play this one for ya. Whoa, 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 It's so I do it Cause it's sweet, yeah Yeah Whoa, 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 whoa yeah. oh. See, I gotta put my guns to the crown Yeah No, I can't use it anymore now uh. You see them long black clouds It's coming down uh. Right on me he calls I feel I'm a knocking on heaven's door Yeah, yeah, yeah. come on Knock, knock What we doing, what we doing We're Knock, knock, knocking on a heaven's door Yeah, that's what we're doing, Lord Knock, knock Yes, we're knocking Oh, yeah Oh, oh gentlemen the classic the classic the classic the classic that one is knocking on heaven's door again if you're not come out to the party tomorrow you missing everything when miss everything i mean everything <laughs> all right we got one more for you another classic another hit yeah we're drop on them ladies and gentlemen ain't that loving you Do. Ooh, yeah. Listen now. You think I love you for just one thing? <laughs> to you, my love, this may be the way you say But I love you, I love you, I love you. What you become? Yes, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you for what you may become. Ain't that loving you, yeah Oh yeah Ain't that loving you For more reasons More reasons than one Oh yeah You see 
Lucy Somehow, my love You've been misled By the things That other men have said But I love you, I love you, I love you For a reason Yes, I love you, I love you, I love you What you may become Ain't that loving, baby The man can do it. Keep a smile, keep a smile on your face. It's because I love you, I love you, I love you. So many ways. Somehow my love been misled by the things we were all the men say. But I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, baby. Yes, I love you, love you, love you. What you may become ain't that loving you, lady. Ain't that loving you, loving you, loving you. Ain't that loving you, yeah. More reason, more reason than one. That loving you, ain't that loving you, lady? Ain't that loving you? More reason, more reasons than one. You may become, girl. Oh, yeah. Ain't that loving you? Ain't that loving you, lady? Ain't that loving you? Uh, ain't that loving you for more reasons than one? Yeah, one, yeah, one, yeah, one, 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 one. More reason, more reason, more reason. Mad things, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. If I never come camera, I'm going to switch out the thing and say I may sing it. But then I don't see the thing go already, so I can't take the credit on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ed Robinson. Before we get up out of here, drop some social media real quick. Where the masses can find you. All right. Just so I know, it's edrobinsonofficial.com and all of the other links them is from there. See? Edrobinsonofficial.com. Kept it simple. And you can reach everything from there, so you can reach the... We you call it the um, the Facebook, you can reach the the Twitter, you can reach the other one, them everything else. Yeah, I <laughs> the I like yeah, it. Keep Instagram, it simple. Instagram, everything. I dig it, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Once more, Mister Ed Robinson. Big up. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. All right, it was a dope, 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 dope one. I told you, I keep my word, keep my promises, and um, that was a live. Live, live vibe from Mr. Ed Robbins himself. But give thanks. Bad brother. But then again, um, guns are legal in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody have one. Have one, yeah. <laughs> so you might have been up there under duress, I'm, but I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not from here. The fact is, I promised y'all something. <laughs> it has to be and delivered. And it had to be delivered. <laughs> so that's gangster. <laughs> I left Mr. Stevens a rare so I go, you know, I your film program. Cool, man. man. You know. Me, me feel like more and Fred, uh, but, but me, 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 me perform before, right? Mm. Good. <laughs> I give him some cool stuff. I give him, I give him a cup of tea. I be ice water tonight. I'm not worried. Nah, I, you, know, you, know, you know Mr. Stevens. I'm proud of that kid, man. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Mr. Stevens, him have the world. Yeah. He's got a palm of man, right? Yeah. Okay, you know, him bring back a Deservedly genre. Deservedly so. Yes, sir. Him bring yeah. back a genre of music named Scare yeah. Music to the mm. world that there was no Scare um, Jamaican genuine Jamaican groupers and our singer. Yeah, that's that was scam. still doing scare. You know, 
And True. Richie brought it back to Jamaica. Yeah. You understand me? Brought yeah. it back like people. I hear a, a, a lady ask me, say, well, wait a minute, Scott is from Jamaica? And I go like, all right, you think about that because cool, truth be told, cool. that's a music, that's a genre of music that Jamaica has turned its back on. Had that conversation with, uh, with, with Danny Buster, Sultan Ali. I give a joke. I give a better joke. Yeah. There's a radio station in Jamaica mm-hmm. that plays only reggae mm-hmm. and tell Richie that they don't play scat. You're kidding me. No, I'm not. The Big Bad Station? The Big Bad Station. Oh, only man. play reggae. No, I know scat. And they said they don't play scat. Wow! Because they, I guess I'm thinking it's a different show. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different nah, from the a different bad station. Club, the big bad station, Bridget. I love that. What a disappointment! All right, what a disappointment! So big up to Richie. His show gonna be serious, crazy, serious tomorrow night. B to have a nice show. Yeah. Um, I heard I wasn't there, but I heard what's the name recorder. Um, Fiona, Rears, Fiona, Rears, a great show too. Yeah. You know, so it's gonna be a fun show, Bridget. I'm, I, I can't imagine. It'll be a fun I'm, show. And ladies and gentlemen, come out there, come, 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 say what's up to G Call. I'm gonna be out there. Look for the homegrown with G Call. Ah, ah. You know what I mean? I'm make sure you bring the t shirt. Got a bridge and for the t shirt. You know? So make oh, sure you bring snap. some some small size. They have one t shirt. It's a V neck. It's a V neck. So it's, it's, not, it's not a man shirt. So. <laughs> <laughs> we are trying to say. Some of us are saying. But I'll bring a hoodie with me or something like that. You know what I mean? I yeah. just come, come, come out there. I'll be out there. Hit me up. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm only bringing one since the first person will hit me up. Uh, I was going to get it. And again, my name is G. Cole, and this is Homegrown.